You're in the house as well? Onliners, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, let me warmly welcome you uh, here in Zagreb and also uh, in the online sphere at the fourth um, degrowth assembly. Uh, my name is Alexandra Kovesh, but call me Sandra. Um, I'm going to be the offline facilitator for today. And, um, um, and I will uh, soon introduce uh, the online facilitators as, as well. And as you can see, this is a hybrid event because we wanted to make it as inclusive as possible. It's, a, it's an incredible opportunity for us to be here in Zagreb in person, but we also wanted to, to share this event with those who cannot be here in person. And of course, this makes it a little bit um, maybe more difficult Maybe we need to use technology a little bit more than what we wish for, even here. But that that's that's the way it is. I mean, if, if we want to 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 keep in touch with uh, with people all over the world, that's that's what we need. And I think keeping in touch with the people who who are um, um, on this incredible train um, to degrowth is is important. So um, please be. Um, um, as open to uh, to this hybrid mode as possible. And um, we're also across time zones. So maybe some people are uh, just waking up and some people are just going to bed or they're in the middle of the night. Um, but um, I'd like to warmly welcome them um, as well. So um, we try and make it as enjoyable uh, experience as possible. We will have time constraints. We know that it's a long program. We will all be tired by the end of the day, but nonetheless, we won't have a lot of time. We will always feel the time pressure and uh, we will try to make sure that everyone, even those who speak, they will um, uh, keep keep the time so that we can uh, we can get everything done what we planned for. So uh, time constraints will be um, here. So, um, um, there are facilitators uh, in the online uh, sphere as well. I'd like to uh, uh, I'd like to introduce them. There's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> um, Hello, people. There's also Federica. Uh, and there's Sara. Um, so um, uh, we have. Um, we have also, um, uh, we, we need to thank our host at Brynja Center. So uh, uh, it's fantastic that they've given us this space for today. And uh, I'd like to also thank the local organizing committee of the conference, especially Tom, who's put a lot of effort into, uh, um, into organizing today. And he's got a few words to say as, as well as a, as a welcome and, um, uh, and a few technical um, um, things about the conference. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, can you hear me? My name is actually Tom Slavmedak. Tom is for short, it's easier. Um, and I will, well, you'll hear welcoming speeches throughout the next two days, plenty. So just uh, to welcome you on behalf of the organizing team here at Ripnyak. Later, we will hear, hear from the director of this place. It's a youth and cultural center, as I guess you can see. Uh, it's been around for 70 years, and she'll probably tell us a bit more in the lunch break. Um, but I'll be your host for the day. So whatever you need, uh, just uh, turn to me. Or we have also a volunteer, Katarina Ipce. I think she's downstairs, if not here. Yeah, she's downstairs. So just... Uh, uh, approach us if there is anything you need. And then maybe uh, until the opening, I would say that uh, tomorrow at the Museum of Contemporary, you can arrive a bit earlier um, and explore the exhibitions that they have there. They have a huge retrospective of Sanya Ivekovic, probably Croatia's most prominent visual artist and one of the most prominent feminist artists in the world. Uh, and 
There is also an exhibition by Jacques Bobelian, who is also an artist featured in the conference. Um, so if you want to explore that, just museum opens, I think, at 10. The registration starts at 4, and there is a discounted price for uh, everyone in the conference. Um, we'll be returning here to Rybniak uh, for the whole day on Saturday, uh, but there will be also screenings on Wednesday and Thursday at eight in the evening. Um, Environmental Film Festival will organize that. So if you wish, you can come back here. And uh, I guess that'll be all. Uh, the main conference venue is Zagreb Fair. Uh, it's close to the Museum of Contemporary, um, just one street number down, but it's a huge street. It's an avenue. Uh, and uh, see you, I guess, tomorrow at the Museum of Contemporary at the opening. Thank you. And welcome to Zagreb. Yeah. Oh, one, one thing more for the online participants. Um, we are organizing a uh, streaming of keynote sessions and afternoon panels. Some, some keynote speakers didn't want to be recorded, but most will. And I think we will be announcing that on our Facebook page, which is 9th International Degrowth Conference Zagreb. So uh, make sure to follow if you want to see the, 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 the keynotes. Uh, we won't be doing sort of interactive session. It will be really very passive, but uh, at least it's at least something uh, for those who couldn't be here with us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I think there's an incredible momentum to this uh, uh, this movement at the moment, and I've, I've seen a lot of faces who I, I also saw in Brussels earlier this year, and um, I think um, I think a lot of young people are putting a lot of effort into what's what's going on and how we could organize uh, uh, the movement, and uh, so I, I I would like to name uh, them. Um, the Audien people who made it possible that this event is taking place and they worked a lot on the proposals. And as you can see, um, a lot had been done before. Um, and uh, so uh, let me thank them as well. Noemi, Jean-Louis, Mario, Javier, uh, Lorenz, Benson, Marta, JP, Vlad, Kanika, Anne, Michael, Lorenzo, Francois, um, and uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people, and yes, uh, a little round of applause to them. <laughs> and um, I think um, I think this this appreciation for the work should continue all day long because what we would like to have is a dialogue, a respectful dialogue on what's been prepared and how we can continue with this movement. And, um, and for this, we prepared a few uh, principles and house rules. I'm not going to go through them one by one uh, because we, we want to speed up with the time. Um, and they are on uh, uh, Linktree. You, you can find everything on Linktree actually. And the, the house rules are there as well. But of course, uh, a few things I'd like to mention. First, that yeah, we, we will aim for respectful dialogue. We'd like to listen to each other. We'd like to actively listen to each other. We'd like to um, to be inclusive of all sorts of ideas. Um, we would like to um, uh, um, to go for like nonviolent, inclusive communication. Um, if at any point you feel uncomfortable about what's going on, please come to me. Or um, if you feel um, um, it's me who's the problem, please go to Marta. Um, so um, um, in any anyway, whenever you feel uncomfortable about something, please uh, uh, voice it to us. So uh, we'd like to be constructive. We would like to actively listen to each other and um, and mitigate for power. So um, uh, for this, we can use hand signals. And now I'd like to ask uh, Marco to teach us three hand signals that we can use throughout the day. Yes, that sounds good. Can you hear me all right? Yes, yes, we can hear, hear you, we can see you. Great. 
So the first one is this one, which is like the jazz end or and clapping in uh, uh, sign language. And this is like when you agree with something or when you hear something that you like or just for celebration, you know, like this is going to be also nice across platform to see each other doing that uh, in case you feel comfortable with that. Then the second one is going to be, well, the classic, just if you want to speak, you put one up. If there is someone already that is speaking, you put two, three, four, and so on. And if you have a direct response, especially this is going to be useful online, I can imagine, you can do a direct response. So like this. In this way, you can skip the queue because it means that you want to relate directly to something that is being said. But really important not to abuse this one. Um, then the last one is the technical point. This is just like an interruption saying, hey, something is not clear or hey, I need to go to the bathroom in case, you know, like you are in the breakout. And um, yeah, or the audio, there's some audio problem. You can do a technical point. All right, Ian, these were the three of them. Thank you so much, Marco. And um, one more thing about the rules. We are likely to make mistakes ourselves, probably in the, even in the organization, we, we've made mistakes, but I think um, um, we should kind of accept them, appreciate them, we should reflect on them and then move on. So uh, um, so that's that's one, uh, JP. And just last thing, if you want to recognize anybody who's in the ODN, well, they can hear me. Uh, okay. Uh, if, you, if you have questions and you're not sure who the names that were said were, Red name tags. Anybody with a red name tag, except Sandra didn't get the memo. Uh, <laughs> you can go to them and they'll be able to answer any questions where, how, coffee, etc. Yeah. Yes, about coffee and, and things like that. If you um, um, if, if you registered, you will have lunch. Uh, you will have get, got your, your lunch tag. If you didn't, uh, uh, please look for us. And uh, you can bring in stuff here. So that's not a problem. If you want later on during the day, if you want beer or something, you can just jump to somewhere around the place and, and, and you can also you can also bring that in. Um, okay, so um, I think that's it for the for the welcome. And now we're going to shortly split up um, and the online people will uh, will have a little um, introduction of each other uh, in the online sphere and we're going to be ha have a short introductory round um, here as well but because we know that you probably sat next to somebody you already know um, we're going to move yes we're going to only have 15 minutes to get to know as many people as we can but we're going to do it outside uh, just here in the lobby um, so please come with me. And a little question. So we are a couple of minutes after. Do we regroup in like 10, 15 minutes? Do we have a precise time since it has been pushed a little? Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, 15, Marco, 15. 15, so at 10. Sounds good. Yeah, 15. Yeah. All right, Ian. Okay. Then Frederike, please, you can uh, maybe stop uh, spotlighting this one so we can uh, see each other over here in the online sphere. And I guess we're gonna be muted from now on. All right, everyone. Welcome all, welcome all for being here. Uh, Frederike already mentioned, if you feel comfortable with that, then it would be lovely to turn on your camera so that then we know who is present. And um, yeah, let's start. Like since this hybrid component is gonna be interesting also for us, maybe let's take a moment to just take a couple of deep breaths, you know, like to land in the online space, in the virtual space, not full on mindfulness or meditation, but just, you know, yeah. Okay, perfect. So um, now we're back and uh, um, the thing that we can use that both online and offline people can see is, is Mentimeter. So um, now I'm going to ask Marco, my co-host, to, uh, um, to introduce you to, to this. And uh, yes, please have your phones or, or laptops ready for this. Uh, 
Uh, I think, thank you, thank you. JP, I think you can actually probably explain it a bit better. Should I go for it? Do you want to go for it with Mentimeter? I'm, I'm happy to, no problem. Go for it. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, okay, can folks online and people offline hear me? Yeah. Great, okay. Uh, so everybody more or less has some experience with Mentimeter. Just to know if you don't, just give me your hand, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. It's just a tool, so open up your browser on your phone or your device, ideally without it ringing. <laughs> um, and I'm about to share you either a QR code or a link. All you have to go is to menti.com, E-M-T-I dot C-O-M. And I'm gonna share the slide in one, one second. Uh, Anyone doesn't have a device that to do this? We have extras. Right. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Uh, to the folks online, uh, yes. Thank you, Fred. You shared the thing. Uh, it's going to be the one before. Here we go. Okay, friends online. It's gonna ask you for uh, friends in person. It's gonna ask you for a code. It is the one on the screen, 38355323. We've got eight people connected already. Awesome. Give me one more minute. No, no worries, Ulrich, no worries. Take your time. If uh, if you don't need the Wi-Fi, if you are able to have data because you have a European plan, please use it instead of logging into the Wi-Fi. For those who maybe don't have a European plan, you can log into the Wi-Fi. The password's outside. I don't remember it, but it's there. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, don't worry, Natalie. Friends online, it's okay. Uh, you should only be seeing a, a thumb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to move to the next slide in a second. People can still join. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change to the next slide, but don't worry. You can still connect and come to Sandra if you need some help. Okay. We've got 40 of you all there, so that should be good enough. Okay, the first question is pretty straightforward. Just write uh, how you're feeling. You can write a little sentence, some words, and we'll start seeing some responses. <laughs> wow, great. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you can read a couple as they come along, JP? Yeah, uh, we're seeing a lot of excited. We're seeing a lot of curious. We're seeing some people tired, so we need more coffee. Uh, we're seeing uh, full of energy, optimism. Some people are feeling snaily. Some people are grateful. People feel hyped, a bit bizarre, that's fair. All of these are very valid. Uh, people feel connected. People are feeling degrowth. Uh, <laughs> some people are feeling political. Some people are happy to see me. Uh, so <laughs> people are feeling good. It is hot and humid, depending on the temperature. We also do have AC, but you know, we're degrowthers here. So we're gonna try and limit that if we can. Uh, under the weather, that's fair. Uh, just remember if you feel like coughing and stuff, everybody knows how to take precautions. Uh, feeling connected. Uh, um, this is great, really, this is this is awesome. I'm really happy that uh, folks are feeling great. Um, oh, and we're just on time, fantastic. Okay. Can you give me the code again? Oh yeah, uh, it's actually on the top. Uh, yeah, 3835 It's in the... It's also on the... It's also in the link tree. Uh, Marco, let's uh, move on to the next step, eh? What did you say? Should we move on to the next step? 
we actually yeah. just buffer, which is good. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like we've then moved to the um, to the presentation. Okay, thank you for this. We will ask you to use the Mentimeter uh, um, from time to time, especially uh, uh, when we want to collect information uh, um, both in the online and the offline sphere. And um, now I would like to ask uh, Jean-Louis to uh, uh, give us a little presentation, a 10 minute or 15 minute presentation um, on, um, on, well, the, how, how we got here. I think that's, <laughs> that's the main title. Thanks. And thanks to you for being here. For me, it's a little dream that uh, <laughs> Uh, it's evolving. Uh, the presentation is. Uh, wait, it's loading. Wait it's one slow. second. Sorry. But I start. Uh, the presentation uh, will arrive. So probably most of you know uh, know the history of the movement. No, since uh, the Casseur de Tig, Francois with the donkey, the first two <laughs> conferences, uh, no, in uh, Paris and uh, in Barcelona. And the first two declarations go to the slide number three. Uh, so, uh, and the only declaration, uh, shared declaration that we have. And um, after that, in um, we had the, the Italian conference, Venice, uh, move the slides. I would do like this for moving slides. Um, where uh, was an important step, uh, the super group for international conference was created, also because of the critique of the Italian team, no, to the um, power position of research and the growth into supporting the conference. So each organizer at a the place. Then we have Leipzig, uh, where uh, an important moment was there for, um, for the movement. Uh, go to the next slide. Um, into one of the uh, gap, uh, group of open assembly, uh, what uh, the participants said was that uh, in order to do collective action was the, our goal, no? to think collective action, was necessary first to know who we are. They were, they were not a map. No? And uh, uh, to build a basic structure to connect people, to connect the bodies, also in order to gain representativeness. Another important uh, step was in Aosta, in my house, in the mountains, uh, and uh, the supergroup uh, started to receive some money, 30,000 euro per year we, we are receiving from uh, Fondation Charles Pornaya for the Progrès de l'Homme. And we use this money mostly from conference, but also a bit for the movement. We get some money to the, the product info, and we decided there you know, that the German platform would have become the platform of the movement. Then the crucial point for the movement, for the nature, was Malmo. Uh, in Malmo, we did the survey before Malmo, the first survey to worldwide, you know, to know who we, who we are. So uh, we map several groups, nearly 100 groups, go to the next slide. Uh, in the world, most more or less 3,000 people. Uh, we had our first map uh, that you can see. Uh, and we called this group uh, to the pre-conference of Malmo. Uh, that was in Christiania. We were like uh, 80 people, more or less, uh, not hybrid. And uh, we did uh, some little decision take it with consensus of everybody. Uh, that we need to build a loose network, we create a mailing list, uh, we establish uh, some working groups, and then we have to meet into one year. And um, the working groups that uh, we made were activism practitioner, researcher, communication, the growth info, online networker was uh, degrowth.net, Agora, the forum, and narratives of degrowth. That still exist and we and that are the part of the working group that we, we will participate in the afternoon. After that, another important step was the meeting of the supergroup in Paris, 2019. Uh, before it was me and Silvio Cristiano, they organized Malmo, and uh, but there was an engagement and uh, formal engagement of the supergroup into fostering the movement 
and supporting some of his members, was me and Sandra, to organize and to foster the construction of the, of the movement. We build a new map, a new automatized map, uh, thanks to Helmut uh, Coleman, uh, where everybody can register. And now we, there are more or less 300 groups in the world. We started to do some meeting of the nodes. We mapped the node of the movement. There were chaos, not relationship, it was difficult to contact people. So the first things that we do were a list of contact person, uh, email, you know, to, to be in touch. And then another crucial point was the assembly. Uh, the second Ibro assembly that we did uh, in The Hague uh, online. And uh, in this assembly, participants stressed that it was important not only to organize conferences, but also to engage in political action, to run concrete projects, and to disseminate the growth not only in the academia, to build stronger alliances with movements, and to support the flourishment of new degree local groups, especially in the Global South. And uh, there was a consensus that in order to achieve this goal, it was fundamental to build better the network, to structure ourselves. Go. Um, and uh, meanwhile, the super group established some criteria to allocate funds. Go. And uh, basically, uh, we said that the aim of the super group is to support conferences. We don't want to be a foundation for the movement. And therefore, going to the next, we, um, we decided uh, uh, to foster uh, uh, new bodies in order to be able to allocate some funds to the movement, meanwhile, financing the transition. And then we go to the third uh, movement assembly, Vienna, an important step, where we did not take decision, but we give a mandate to the ODN, to the uh, Organized Degree Network uh, Open Collective, to make a proposal. Go to the next one. Uh, the proposal that today we'll discuss, no? the proposal for structuring and functioning of the legal movement. And before of that, uh, we map the existing nodes and the needs and complaints of the nodes. No? Uh, here you can find the people uh, that are part of uh, the ODN. We are 14 people. And, uh, and what we did uh, is what I told you. So uh, we meet uh, more or less one per month. And we, we have a physical meeting in Brescia, three long days of work. It was so fun. But also work uh, like a lot of work by email and document a lot. Uh, and this meeting, Anne Sheridan is with us, was present all these meetings at 5 a.m. in the US. So just to uh, we did some training you know, because we had to learn. So we train in sociocracy with Ted Rouse, with Francois Snyder. We map also other movements, document economics, extinction rebellion, eco villages to to um, to know. Uh, we met the needs and complaint of existing nodes. Uh, we build uh, that thanks to JP, a huge work that he did, a degro database where we map the groups, but not only the groups, uh, policies, papers, uh, conference material, assembly materials, and it's always there. We make the proposal that we discuss, and furthermore, uh, we send the proposal to the world, to the world mailing list, to you. And we ask for feedbacks, written feedbacks, and also we had a call you now where people could tell us their feedbacks, and uh, we try until we arrive to integrate most of the feedbacks into the final proposal that we sent you. And that's it. You now, now we are here, and uh, and all over the world for people online. And I am excited to be here with you. I think it is an historical moment for the degrowth movement. This is uh, our constituent assembly, no? uh, the board of something that could change the world. Uh, and uh, uh, an important watershed. 
uh, we will discuss, as you will see in the program, uh, the proposal together. We will do it with, with sociocracy in social security group, and then we will try to, to have some service, some pool, so everybody can tell what uh, he thinks in order to be able to uh, improve uh, into one year the proposal based on the objection that you will raise here. Uh, so we are here eh, to hear your voice and thank you for being here. Meanwhile, eh, we ask you to be uh, to take care, eh, to take care of you, of us, uh, of the process, no? and to take your responsibility. Uh, we have a little time, a huge, a huge task. No? So every word that you will say will have a repercussion. No? And uh, we are grateful for your objection, but uh, be responsible and take care uh, of the process, knowing that uh, maybe not everything uh, can be rediscussed at this point, no? because ODN uh, gave a mandate, work for that. We already asked for objections, so a part of the process has been done, but we will open to improve uh, this proposal in some crucial po point. Having in mind, uh, sociology, sociology teach us that uh, uh, it has not to be perfect what we will decide, but good enough for now. As a sculpture uh, uh, is a draft of a collective piece of art uh, that we are building uh, and we will build into the years. And so thank you very much for being here and uh, enjoy and thanks, let's, let's go. And um, today is all about sociocracy. So now here's uh, uh, Francois telling us what sociocracy is. I'm, I'm really so grateful for all this energy that came with the with all the end, with all the people at the, at, I don't know what we, what we see, the new generation of, uh, of uh, the growers. Um, let me have the presentation. Next slide. Next slide. Yeah, it's, why is it so important that we get into social policy? And especially there is there is the energy for it. There is the energy for it. Um, yeah, at uh, at the European Parliament, I mean, it was an amazing time, and we shouted, among other things, we shouted uh, more democracy. But maybe we should have shouted sociocracy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was a uh, lots of thoughts about the representative democracy, with the MEPs, and so on, and on. Well, obviously, representative democracy is the best system until now. Um, but, uh, uh, well, it focuses on, first it focuses on the political sphere. We have many more spheres to deal with. Uh, I mean, deciders are elected. You put the paper and then someone can decide uh, on things. It's quite disempowering. Uh, also, in general, democracy is about majority vote, the, the way it's interpreted until now. And that means that many, many, I mean, all the, the, the whistleblowers are out. Uh, many things that come from a minority cannot be engaged into creating proposals. And this is why, let's get into the next slide on the uh, so, 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 yeah. yeah, I mean, on the, then, Direct direct democracy is, is great, but there is a there is a physical problem. I mean, we cannot make like the big assembly of the whole world or even large assemblies. There's a physical impossibility to, to hear everybody. Um, uh, yeah, and that's why we think uh, the next slide. Uh, that's why. Uh, yeah, sociocracy is different. I mean, with sociocracy, it is the power of those, not just that happen to be there, but the power of those that, that engage. That means we get we get all in in, in group, uh, in circles, uh, where actually everybody can be heard. Um, what happened? 
<laughs> if not, if not, they can't see you, that's all. Ah, for the, the camera. Phone. Yes. <laughs> so it's, um, it's, it's also, it's a living system, self-organizing, that cooperate and co-evolve with within, within an organization. I mean, it's, it's able to do all this. Um, really, uh, fundamentally, it enables to, to get together lots of lots of ethics. I mean, degrowth is about is about combining many ethics. We have ecology, we have care, we have, we have feminism, we have a, a future generations. Uh, we we want to take care of the simplicity, the well being. All this we want to combine many things, and, and so we need to get into really. A, a system that can combine many ethics, and, and this is really what society is all about. So it's it's the society ideal also that value equality and the right to people to determine the conditions under which we live. But not just stating it, stating it, stating it, but actually uh, implement it. Um, yeah. uh, next next slide. So it's, I said it's a living system, and it's a bit like functioning like the human, uh, like any living system, like, like the human, means where you have actually a flow of information and feedback between the different organs, which are inside the body. Uh, um, basically, if, if the, let's say the lung wouldn't talk with the heart, I mean, you die. Um, next slide. So this is quite uh, we have to see the big growth network as a living system. It enables this. So yeah, right now the the big growth movement manages an incredible diversity of of, uh, of actions of initiatives in all areas. Uh, but well, the body is not an organization. It's not just a diversity of initiatives. It is also uh, to cooperate well and capacity to co-evolve and collectively transform. Um, actually, to have this this capacity to be, to be an organization that's functioning in a, in a, as a living system, organized in a way that all all organs are seen as, as vital. vital. Uh, yeah, this I said before. <laughs> so, so next slide. So, where does it come from? Uh, um, it's really a compilation of many human experience of action, of collective action. Um, not every generation has to come back to the, to the general assembly, informal general assembly. Uh, it has been used from the, from the start in the, in the scientific sociologist circles. To, it has been used in, by, by the pacifist uh, uh, book has been, the, the couple book has been very important in, in starting it. And it has been used in their school in, in Holland, it has been used, next slide, in, in enterprises, uh, developed uh, by Gerard and Dunburg. I mean, it developed, uh, formalized it into, into enterprise that became quite successful, actually. So we see that it can, it can function in many different spheres, many different areas where actually democracy is very important. And I mean, I'm going to, to detail a bit the, the formalization by, uh, by Dunburg, which he says social policy has four characteristics that are very key. The organization circle, the decision making by consent, the double delegation on, on the election without the candidate, like the sociopathic elections. So, next slide. So the circle, the circle. Uh, can you get the next slide? Yeah, the, the circle are group of people engaged in different roles, few few enough so that everybody can be heard, but numerous enough so that we have the collective intelligence. Uh, it's it's really the base for cooperation. Is basically uh, it's um, everybody supports one person that has, that has a problem. We have. The, the flow of information that goes well. Uh, on circles and roles are defined by purpose, responsibilities, and domain. Um, and, and this is really the, the, 
the base for the for the for the policy. Next slide. You have also the another super important principle is the is the consent. Is there? This is the process where you transform an individual proposal into a collective proposal, and that fits the the purpose of the circle because we all we all are engaged. Yeah. So uh, we share different concerns. So we have. It's, this is really key for for well good functioning also for the for the legal community. We have clarification where we observe well before criticizing and reacting. We we actually give the voice to the first reaction with the with the intelligence of the first reaction, and we we integrate different objections uh, in the zone of the collective. Uh, and it's we really avoid false consent by really checking that no no one objection is super key because they're the, they're the fuel for the, for the consent. Can you get next slide? Sorry, I, I, I get the mic. So it's it's it is a process. Huh? It's not just uh, it's not a result. We we often think that oh, do we have consent? No, I mean consent is a process. It's not. We need to share information. We need to to actually get through the different steps to actually build together a, a proposal that fits that fits all the all the fundamental concerns that people have. And it it, it needs conflicts, but the conflict. It, Positive conflict in two objections that fuel the consent. Next slide. Another very important uh, thing is the is the double delegation. That means it's not just about circles; it's about circles that are interlinked that can actually include many people into into a larger system. Um, that means you have representatives from one circle to, that goes to the next. Um, there's no there's no uh, dominance on circles. But a hierarchy of, of specificities. That means you go from detailed vision to larger vision, and there is a, there is a, a circle that goes through all the whole system from uh, from the, the, the more detailed to the larger vision. And this is like a, in the function bodies, and we have all the all the it goes through all the all the, all the people. Some people talk of circular hierarchy. Here is a way to represent things where. Or it's all inside you. You could have ways of showing things where, which represent some other reality, where you have also some some circles that are outside. I mean, this is different ways of showing things. Next slide. Yeah, and the last principle is the sociocratic elections. I mean, in the way we do politics, it's really well. You, it's really hard to get elected because you have to. You have to. To play with the elbows and so on. I'm not at all like this in social policy. We we don't this is elections. We don't candidate. We don't candidate. Uh, anybody can be suggest, suggested at any position. If, even people that are not part of the, of the circle or so on. Or, actually, assemblies are great places for this, where, where actually people that have objections can come to a new circle and um, yeah. Okay, and so it gives, it's amazing to see uh, the possibility it gives to new people to come up. Next slide. So, social casting in the growth. I mean, we, we have some experiences of, of playing with circle and with the group assembly processes. And, uh, and this, uh, for me, every time this happened in, uh, in, in, in the history of the growth, has been really amazing when we really manage to function collectively. The amazing sense of power that we get. This was in the in the, the march in, the, in 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 many places where we did the group, group assembly process. I mean, it's amazing to see how how Ixer managed to develop with using social crisis so quickly. And I mean, we need to follow. I think their example. Um, and it is used in, for example, in the post growth institute. Uh, function that way. Next slide. And as a, yeah, just to, to finalize the presentation, I mean, it's the most, it's the most democratic, uh, the most advanced democratic approach, and, and it really can make the movement succeed. It, it is adapted to all spheres of society, and it's quite efficient and motivating. Uh, if, if we actually do it, let's go for it. That's, that's my main message. I mean, it's, it's really a key tool for democratic planning. And this is a key question. How, we, how do we do that in the group? And I think social is the answer. 
Um, my main message is to say, okay, let's start doing it. It's it's adaptive. That means anytime there is a problem, we actually modify things. So, um, so we do, we, we do, we grasp things, then we feedback, then we adapt. Uh, um, so let's go for it. That's my main mistake. Thank you, Francois. Um, you will have the chance to ask clarification questions, but uh, a bit later. And now um, I'm asking Naomi and uh, and JP to, um, um, to, to summarize you the proposal that you all have read and know by heart. Yeah? <laughs> so, uh, uh, but it's just a short summary. A few pages. Thank you. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you, Sandra. Right, so yeah, thanks Francois for the sociocracy input. So sociocracy is more or less the structural base for what we, or more like um, the functional pillar for the proposal. And now we're gonna talk quickly about more of the, the structure of that proposal. Um, if you can skip the slide, Marco. And um, maybe before before we go into that, it's super useful to go through the needs and issues that we've identified. So Jean said that we'd run this kind of conversations with all the nodes of the of the T-Growth network. And the main issues that were communicated to us were so communication or lack of communication between the groups, between the nodes, between the international circle, the international working groups. And this ends up in doubling up work, several groups doing the same things and a lack of coordination, so lack, lack of efficiency and um, big frustrations. And um, another issue that was raised was um, the unclear responsibilities. We don't really know who does what and who should do what, so it ends up in, again, doubling up on work, on work and also ends up in several groups having, um, having to do tasks that they don't feel legitimate to do. Uh, which is highly problematic. And can lead to friction, right? <laughs> Indeed. Um, another point was funding, transparency on funding, lack of funding. So that's that, that was a big issue. And um, lack of involvement, um, lack of visibility in the movement and, and lack of volunteers. That's something that pretty much everyone mentioned. And I, I think every one of us here can resonate with that. And uh, a last thing that was mentioned fairly often was the 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 dichotomy between um, academia and activism, which we need to overcome somehow. So this proposal, you can skip the slide, Marco. This proposal is not meant to solve each of these problems individually, but it's meant to give us the tools to solve them ourselves um, with time and with collaboration. Um, right, so I'll leave on yeah. to you, yeah. And uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, and just to add on to what uh, Noemi was saying, um, at the end of the day, this was a very collaborative process in the essence that there was very, many of us from very different groups that tried working together, tried getting input from everybody involved here today. It's not perfect. It is far from perfect, but we did our best. We're trying our best. And by presenting it to you today, by creating this structure, we're going to make it better. Slowly but surely, it is all an experiment, just like life is, to try and make things better. So that's why we're here with you to make it even better and to agree on a, on a, on a common uh, uh, framework. So now, uh, a little more logistically, there is a difference, which is the first part of the proposal between what is the deep growth movement and what we're now calling, although remember, with sociocracy, absolutely anything can change. You can sociocratically change the decision-making process to not be sociocracy, right? Uh, so nothing's set in stone, everything's changeable, uh, but we're trying our best to go with the base and build off of that. And if things don't work, there's always time to change. So the degrowth movement is pretty much anybody who finds themselves resonating or uh, agreeing with or uh, participating in the ideas, values, or narratives that degrowth uh, portrays or, or aspires to, to, to form. Uh, and the international degrowth network is everybody of that who also subscribes to the principles uh, and, and some of the decision-making processes of what we're now calling the international degrowth network. We're going to get to those principles in a second. Right. So next slide, Marco, please. Um, principles. So yeah, as JP said, these are principles that we'd like everyone in the IDN to to um, work along. So 
first one very obviously commitment to degrowth i don't think this is problematic mm. anti-patriarchy anti-colonialism communal effort and participation uh, participatory decision making open communication transparency uh, conviviality and autonomy i think all of those are pretty straightforward i'm just running through them so we get them in our minds because we know you've all read them right <laughs> <laughs> oh yes sorry Care, cooperation, and non-violence, um, inclusion, self-care, and finally, critical reflection, arts, um, action, and practice. So these are broad principles that we define a bit better in the proposal that we'd like um, everyone in the IDN to apply, to work with, to work for, to strive for. And this is what we're looking at. Yes, yes. And to improve. They're far from perfect. They are way far from perfect. If anybody here has experience with that, we're more than happy to see how we can improve these principles. I know some of them could definitely use a bit more text and and uh, and uh, detail. Next slide, please, Martha. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, this is just an overview of what the diagram, uh, after your wonderful feedback, has been changed to. Hopefully, it's a bit more clearer. Uh, just for the sake of this presentation, we have. Actually, not we, Noemi has created a lovely hand-drawn diagram, which is a bit smaller, a bit more simplified, which we're going to use in the following slides uh, for demonstrative purposes. But for reality, technically, this is kind of more or less what it looks like now. Remember, and we got a lot of questions about this, these are just hypothetical. Just want to make that very, 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 very clear, because a lot of people had questions. We just put things that we thought could be there. I'm going to mention that later, but everything here is hypothetical and can be changed. Uh, next slide, Marco, please. Um, yes, so, so yeah, basically this is the simplified version of this um, diagram. And yeah, again, hypothetical, not, um, not all the green circles have to be organized this way, or, but basically just to go through what it means. Um, anything that's a circle, so these, those, 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 it means that they have to apply sociocracy. Anything that is square or rectangle is free to apply whatever method of um, governance that they like. They can apply sociocracy if they want to, uh, but they don't have to. Then all the arrows um, mean the double linking um, connection. I think Francois went over this and we'll talk a bit more about it later, but it's a, it shows the connection between those two um, group servers. And then we got, um, depending on the color, different different groups. So those are uh, so-called working group circles. These are international circles. All of them already exist. Um, these are local circles and these are continental circles that group the local circles together. And the organizing circle we'll talk about later. Yeah. Um, could we have the next slide, Marco, please? And so basically these highlights what already exists, what is already there. So right now we have all these international circles, oh sorry, all these international circles here. And we have all these uh, local circles here that are existing and that are not interconnected as well as they could be. And so what we suggest, can I have the next line, Marco, please? Is to connect them with these new circles. So we're trying to create as few or new uh, bodies as possible to make it as less disruptive as possible. Of course, everything is amendable, everything can change, everything can evolve, but for now, what we suggest is to try and remain as simple as possible. So we suggest that um, local groups from the same continent would meet in a continental circle and create this continental circle. And we suggest that um, international circles that work on a similar topic uh, would meet in a working group uh, circle. And, and collaborate together. And uh, so for example, what we, we want to just facilitate, uh, create a space for that collaboration and that coordination to take place easier. We wanna reduce the amount of friction that is caused uh, uh, by just such a diverse and autonomous group of individuals to hopefully have representatives that are in touch with each other. So I know we have some people from the support group here. I know we have folks from AltShift, maybe even folks who organized, uh, uh, were organizing the Queer Degrowth Festival in Barcelona, right? I'm sure that there are learnings to be shared amongst these groups of what they've done well, what they've done not so well, what could improve for the future. Uh, uh, just like maybe the folks in Europe have a certain campaign. Maybe the folks in Europe want to collaborate for the elections in 2024, right? 
giving a, creating a space for all of these groups to uh, uh, communicate with each other. And we really want to stress that anything that is in a circle is entirely autonomous, aside from, of course, obviously following the principles uh, uh, and, is, and uh, it's with the aim of in preserving diversity between all of these groups. Thanks, Marco, we can have the next slide. Was that me? Yeah. So uh, the one new body that we are creating is the organizing circle. And the organizing circle you can think of as more or less what the ODN has more or less done this year. Uh, it is a group that is an open collective. Uh, it doesn't have to function sociocratically. We can decide whatever that uh, governance system needs to uh, work as, but it is a direct circle to the general circle. Uh, so these reps do have to function sociocratically. Uh, this group is there to maintain the database, to maintain the website, to maintain membership status, to try and coordinate meetings, setting up agendas. Uh, it's folks who have time, energy, and motivation to kind of help get the ball rolling. And once that ball is rolling, hopefully they'll have more time to devote to uh, more specific logistical details of, of the network, organizing more assemblies, et cetera. Uh, but it really, it's just that, it's just to help organize us uh, uh, better. And it's an open collective that anybody can join as long as they have the time and the energy. Next slide, Marco, please. Uh, and then uh, the general circle, this uh, one in the middle is composed of two representatives. Uh, so in, if you write the document, the roles are the facilitator and the coordinator, I think. No, not the facilitator, the rep. The representative okay. and the coordinator uh, who represent these two lines. We'll talk about them in a second. But they send representatives to the general circle. So the general circle is only composed of representatives from each of the main circles around it. And this allows for a wider diversity and variety of voices, uh, tries to limit the global north centricness of degrowth by giving other regions a bit more voice than maybe they have members. Uh, and it also tries to ensure that if we want to coordinate a movement wide campaign, we can do so, right? Because we're all in touch in the circle. Maybe we meet every two months, something like that, every three months. It's not a big deal. Uh, but it's just a place for all of these groups to share what they are doing, what they plan to do, and how they can work together. And that's basically it with the new bodies that were suggested to create. So the general circle, all of these, um, continental circle, the organizing circle, and the working group circles. And that's it. That otherwise everything would not be new. Can we have the next slide, Michael, please? Um, another body. Oh, okay. We can explain that first. Um, so now, how do you, how do all of those interact together? And um, they interact by double linking, which um, I think Francois mentioned. So each each circle is connected to its wider circle through two delegates. And um, one delegate, so you can see all these double arrows, those each arrow represents one of the two delegates. And um, there's one delegate whose mission is to connect more the wider circle to the inner circle and, and bring the decisions from the wider circle to the inner circle. And that is the coordinator. And in the other direction, we have the representative who is meant to be more focusing on the inner circle, its concerns, its wishes, and bring them to the wider circle. So it represents this circle in the bigger circle. Right? But it, yeah, it's basically a co collaborative process. And so both of these people, the, both of these delegates are full members of both circles. And that is the case for all of these double linking signs. So in each case, we have two people that are part of both Tigris London, for example, and the European Continental Circle. And that allows a flu like a flow of information that is a lot smoother than anything we've been working with at the moment. And you can also connect to extra circles if you have the capacity to do so, and if you have the wish to do so. For example, if India and Turkey feel like um, they're working on similar issues and they want to collaborate. Well, they can create, the two circles can create a, a double link, um, either permanently or um, just for a set period of time, depending on what they're working on. And remember, that sounds pretty formal, but you can just, I mean, your buddy is in you go, Turkey, send them a message. You now, I mean, you don't technically have to be, okay, organizing circle, I am now officially linked to, you know, it's not that big a deal. But just saying that this exists and, and the process is there if, if you want to use it more formally so. It need just one member, not not two. And if you don't have capacity for two people, one is more than fine. Also, yeah. Yeah, 
And uh, another example, well, but that's fine. Yeah, we don't have to go through the other example. Uh, <laughs> and now we could talk about the assembly. So the assembly process um, would be fairly similar to what we have now. So um, first of all, who would attend the assembly? So all circles that are not directly connected to the general circle would be invited to send delegates and um, two delegates. And that is just to ensure that we don't have double representation of um, a, a specific circle. And basically the point of the assembly would be to set the direction for the degrowth, for the, uh, for the IDN, for the international degrowth network, would be to have a convivial moment where we meet and where we take the time to reflect about what's happened, where we get to know each other and, and, and get to work together in person and, in, and, on, and online in a hybrid format. And there would continue to be a yearly thing. Um, yeah, basically. We can have the next slide, Marco. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna really quickly go through the funding. I'm sure you all read it already. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop that joke, I get it, it's boring. Uh, so uh, just as, as John Lee was mentioning, right, it's a support group who's composed of uh, uh, folks who have organized the conferences in the past. Uh, they get about 30 grand a year uh, from uh, uh, a French foundation. Um, and that is actually, oh, sorry, 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 Switzerland. Um, and so, uh, for example, that money is helping us host this assembly today. It also helps host the conferences. Um, the proposal, it aims to slowly transfer that financial power to a body of the international degrowth network. Uh, of course, there needs to be, uh, uh, budgets created, proposals created on how that money could be used fairly, inclusively, and equitably. Uh, and, and that proposal has to be done in a very equitable and, and, and uh, participatory process. Uh, and so hopefully by next year's assembly in Pontevedra, uh, we'll have a genuine proposal that we can ratify together at the assembly, uh, where we'll see how we can transfer that financial making decision power uh, to either the general circle or a sub-circle, uh, sorry, an inner circle uh, uh, that deals only with finances, for example. Uh, but that's more or less the gist in some phases. And I think we can have the next slide now. Sorry? Spain. In Spain. Spain. Yeah. Yeah, and then finally, there's one matter that we were struggling with. It's a common communication platform. We do need one, and different groups use different things, and we just didn't know how to make a decision, so we're going to talk about this today. There, there will be a, a breakout room for that. But a few ideas we had in mind, um, high, low, discord, matrix, matter most. And we would also need to find a, a cloud sort of platform that would ensure smooth communication and exchange of information. So yeah, uh, or server, website, whatever. But that's something that, yeah, we need to figure out and we haven't figured out. So we, we count on you to, and, and the tech um, lovers around here, we count on you to help us and make a decision on that. Please help us. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I think that's it from and the side. Lastly, uh, just want to reiterate, we know the proposal is not perfect, friends. We know that it needs improvements. We know that it needs work. Uh, and we're just super thankful that y'all are here, that you've read it, that you're participating and you're helping create a much better framework and structure for the movement uh, for the years to come. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, now we'd like to ask you to, if you can, well, here uh, um, uh, in Zagreb, you can you can chat to the person next to you, or uh, um, uh, or you can just think up your own clarification questions if you have some. And now the emphasis is on clarification. Yes, suggestions and objections we will deal with later. So now anything that you don't seem to understand or or that you don't think is is clear in the proposal. These are the type of questions we would like you to ask, and you can use Mentimeter um, so that we can use the same platform uh, online and, and offline. 
If you don't want to use Mentimeter, you can, we can give you, uh, uh, we can give you pieces of papers uh, um, here as well. So, um, um, so the emphasis is on clarifications, yes? I don't think I understand this. How is this going to work, uh, you know, in, in, in your mind? Uh, these are the questions that you should uh, ask. So we're giving you time for this because um, uh, you can't just come up with it. You can actually turn to the person next to you, start talking about it. Oh, I don't understand this to you. And if neither of you understand, please put it in Mentimeter. And then we're going to cluster these questions and um, um, and answer them um, later on. So you have another um, um, eight minutes to do the clarifications in the Mentimeter or um, on paper here. And uh, we'll cluster them and try answering them uh, uh, later. And I, I believe if I did the settings right, I think you can give like a thumbs up to other questions that have already been asked. Try it, I don't know how that works, but so we can prioritize, yeah. So now it's your free time. Are so good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, 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 we're doing good. I'm quite happy. Can you maybe mute your side?
Okay. Okay. We we start trying to answer to your question. So uh, we go horizontally. When this the assembly at Pontevedra, uh, we have not the date, but it will be 2024, middle of June. Uh, how are the roles between the general circle and the organizer circle distinguished? It's uh, so uh, the, the idea is that the, the organizer circle has a Right. Maybe JP, you can share uh, the, um, the diagram. Right. It's a, a more organizing technical stuff. It's a support. Uh, no, it's not a place where that decide. Uh, no. Uh, so we have people that will be responsible for new member. Uh, we support local groups to grow database map. Uh, they will also uh, Elect, no, elect, nominate a conflict resolution group, but this specific organizational task is an open collective. Everybody can, can be in. Why the general circle, uh, uh, to answer also to the question of the executive uh, uh, board that was asked, uh, no, um, why the assembly, so you here once in a year, is the supreme body. Now that we, we change also, we can say we do not want more sociocracy, we want. Uh, direct democracy or something so but uh, uh, it cannot uh, every month uh, to be called no so yes uh, the, the purpose that you can see in the document is more defining the vision the mission the priorities that uh, will orient a group uh, no that we uh, try to put into practice the guidelines that the assembly will give this group is uh, the general circle so imagine 15 people and uh, we not uh, democratically elected. Uh, they will be sociocratically elected from each working group or continental circle. So each uh, working group will nominate two members. These two members will uh, compose the general circle. And the general circle will uh, sociocratically elected two coordinator and spokesperson. That uh, will have this sort of executive function that was the question. Uh, so this is uh, answered English, Xavier. Uh, no. I mean, it's it's up to your circle which language you speak. And for the assemblies and the general circle, it's not decided, but I think it's the best choice we have now. Uh, it's still not clear to me what commitment uh, is special length of time if you want to participate in a circle. Ah, yes. Uh, every person who wants uh, to participate in a circle, in an organization, or be the representative, etc., in the, ta uh, the time uh, it takes the role, decide also the length of time. Of course, it's nice to be committed to a role for, I don't know, maybe one year, or the time the role uh, or the activity require the people to be there, but no one is link the life we chain uh, to something. So if something happened and the people have to leave, it's okay. But of course, to take any role in the, org in the organization we are proposing, of course, entails a responsibility to take the role and so to be committed as much as a person, of course, can. So there is no a minimum or maximum length of time. It depends uh, on, on people, but just try to be responsible for things. And groups, there are groups like groups. narratives that maybe would be more open, groups that need more engagement, like organizational groups. Uh, can be called. Um, the difference between consent and consensus. Yeah, so it's slightly different the way I see it. Consensus more implies that everybody agrees that this is the best decision. It's a bit harder to get consent. is rather that everybody is comfortable enough to try this. And you might think that there might be some better options, but it's within your zone of comfort. A, a good one is range of tolerance. You might even disagree with it, but you can tolerate it. And remember, the big thing is good enough for now. Let's try it. And good try enough it. to try. Yeah. And, and not because you like it, but because uh, no, it's uh, compatible with the purpose 
of the group. No? Um, the structures are not far, I get uh, involved or to propose some additional groups. Uh, uh, to get involved now, you will participate in some working groups. Also, during the assembly, there will be other meetings. So, you will meet people, facilitator, we will have our contact, just tell to people with red flags. There, it could be also a space to create new working groups. Uh, if you are very motivated, come to us. Maybe we could add, uh, but you have to propose yourself maybe as the coordinator of this group. We, we could add one more group in the afternoon. If not, maybe it's a process that could be added for the next assembly. Who decides a member of a working group circle was the murder ship process? Okay, so in the, for the working groups, those are tier goals and are created by the um, people, single people or organization that already exist. And International circles. And that work on that th th thematic, for example. So each organization that wants to be part of that uh, working groups, as we explained earlier on, have a representative. So this is the person that will be part of the working group circle. A representative and, and a coordination, a sociocratically elected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the way of deciding is that uh, the organization, uh, for example, joining a specific working group can have is a representative and coordinator uh, joining the, the group. So uh, I did the wrong thing. Sociocratic elect is a recommendation. Uh, the international key circle can select with the methodology also. Uh, why the member of for the general circle must be selected in sociology. Can I can I add something? And uh, hopefully once our website is up and 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 things are running, um, it'll be because they can hear me. This is, yeah, it'll be much much easier to figure out how can I actually get involved. So it'll be like okay. This is the European Continental Circle. This is the uh, activism working group circle, etc. This is the contact email. I'd like to join as an individual, or hey, my collective in uh, uh, Catalonia wants to join, etc. It, it'll be much much simpler once we have this kind of platform in place and contact details out there, etc. Um, and then it's just that the working group circle has to consent to 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 you joining, which yes. uh, yeah, sure, also individual with consent. Continental circle, different interests, North, South, and Europe. Uh, I would say uh, also a uh, continental is just a name. Uh, we try to say by, by your region, uh, try, is not uh, uh, mandatory with the continent. Uh, we could uh, shift North and South and Europe, East and West. The continental Europe circle will decide how to uh, divide, split, uh, change its names. Uh, who designed a circle is already done. Uh, I didn't mean it here by the group movement, right? Everyone was self care, considered separate different than the larger care point. Uh, maybe JP, you want to answer for this? Which one is it? Why self care was considered separate different than the larger point care? Yeah, uh, so essentially it was to. Uh, differentiate the fact that we're all caring for each other and have to show care uh, uh, to our comrades, our colleagues, uh, our partners working in it, but you also have to care for yourself. Maybe we could have, I told you, the principles need work, uh, but it's also to ensure that you're not taking more on your plate than you can manage. It's to recognize your boundaries, recognize your limits, communicate what your needs are to the people that you're working with and ensure that you're taking care of yourself so that we you know we can be a more uh, effective movement, but also watch out for each other, right? You can't expect that someone will be able to full, fully take care of themselves, but it's just a reminder to know, know your limits and, and uh, communicate your needs. Okay, for the question, IDN is meant international, the growth network, while the growth movement is the movement like it is now, so with no, structure and IDN is the name we are proposing, we can discuss about it, uh, for the network, international development network. The movement is wider. Everybody, uh, also if he doesn't know about the network and the field growth is considered part of the movement. But why only the circle, people about the local circle, working groups, international circle, the diagram part of the network, you know? 
What is the process for a new uniform in local governments to become part of the EDN? Uh, we, we already mentioned this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They ask for the continental circle and the continental circle say, yeah. go, go, go below. Can you answer this one? Uh, is there a plan to do proactive exhaustive outreach to Global South Degrow Organization to get their buy in into the IDN or has that already occurred? I think uh, if I correctly understand the question, um, the idea of have a continental circle, that means to have a representation for all continents in the world with the sociocratic uh, um, structure, that means a repre representative and coordinator as the objective to have the same representation for all groups uh, in the world. So not more for Europe because we are, for example, more uh, numerous and less for the uh, south of the world because uh, there are less people maybe involved. So this was the idea behind our proposal to have the uh, same representation for everyone. Then there is not a specific uh, um, exaltives outreach plan in place maybe this can be something discussed uh, during the continental circle uh, working group mm -hmm. uh, and 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 just to add uh remember as as a movement and we're going to mention this a little bit later this should be one of our priorities right to be genuine real allies and comrades with resistance movements liberation movements with uh uh anti-racism movements, anti-ableist movements, anti-homophobia, uh, uh, et cetera, right? These are our partners. We're all fighting for really the same thing, right? Capitalism is our biggest foe for all of us. Uh, and we need to make sure that we prioritize that we're doing the outreach, we're putting in the effort, we're including diverse voices and diverse groups into our networks so that they can see us as not just a white European centric, uh, hegemonic economic idea, but as a genuine, uh, ally in their solution so that we can learn from them and they can learn from us. This is this should be a priority for all of us. And you know, the, the body is a tool you know, to have a continental circle with people ju just for South, but also for the North. The South is not covered, so we maybe put more energy, you know, but to uh, be the alliance, maybe this is the second step. First, we have to, to, to find, you know, as JPD in this database, groups and ask them to participate. So we would like to do it, but it's energy demanding. So uh, it depends on how much people will, uh, will help us. And, and uh, we have a special attention to the Global South. It, it's not a case if we included the Cochabamba Declaration, we had a big debate uh, as one of the key principle inspiration of all the, the true declaration. So there is a specific attention. Let's see if we will have the energy. Okay, faster. Uh, what about cultural <laughs> like Spain and South America or Puerto Rico, Brazil? Should we create special relation or, or this is near colonization? Yeah, this is again something that can be done during the continental circle meetings this afternoon to decide about eventually. This is something that people can decide. It's a, no, the grow uh, is like a framework that put in tension different things. I think that these two dimensions are. We can produce a creative tension that the group will manage. Uh, role diversity and other guidelines for ensure diversity in selecting role holders. Yes, no, we uh, not uh, put something mandatory, but we encourage uh, in the role selection uh, a lot of different gender, sexual orientation, geography, age. Uh, you, you can see them. Uh, there are a lot, and uh, so there is. Um, A few members with willingness to commit at the moment. Uh, we wonder if maybe it's better to have a bit more informal structure than to reach capacity for organizing circles. Um, okay. It's more a, an objection, a clarification. Uh, at the end, principle fee, we have a participation twice, communal effort and participation group participation. Suggested that it is a, an objection. Uh, the basic units are on the level of individual organization, more from one country or on national level, less than of national platform. What do you... like, on, like you're mentioning, it's an objection. It doesn't have to be an objection to say, maybe it's just comment asked in terms of clarification question. And this was like really to focus on the clarification questions. 
So it's still stuff that can be discussed, and maybe this specific round is not the space for this. Just like acknowledging the people that did write the question, that we're not ignoring it. Sure, sure. Thanks, Marco. What about if there are really a lot of people in a circle, such a continental circle? The circle we can split into no, into sub uh, uh, inner circle. How does the ideal structure collaboration connection with the existing movement that are adjacent to the group but define the structure that some differences? Uh, it's a part of building alliances. No, uh, we have not. We, we want to do a working group uh, like building alliances, but uh, we have not the energy. Probably maybe in the future we could engage people in, in that. So we could imagine that in the movement or maybe outside the movement we are aligned. We have to map them, work on them. Does it have units or on the level? No, this of individual organization. I don't understand what well this way. Ah, or the, the basic level. local units are on the level of individual organization or on national level. It depends. For example, if there is an organization that is, uh, I don't know, I invent the growth Italy, it is national. If it is, is the growth uh, Turin, this is maybe local, but they are. Uh, all the same uh, can join a continental circle, for example, Europe. So, uh, in the future, yeah, they can also uh, be very well. We could have the Euro Italy, maybe the Euro Spain with different organization, but now we put uh, everybody together. Are working groups obliged to practice sovereignty? Yes. Uh, not international circle, not, not local circles. Um, uh, again, principle feedback. Uh, why critical reflection and action practice? We are splitting. Uh, one second. How Maybe like 10. Jean Louis. Yeah. To the question, are working group obliged to practice sociocracy? Part of sociocracy is also renegotiating its practice itself. So if there is something that is not fully working, and then you use the sociocratic methods to agree on like tweaking things a little bit, that's also possible. I just wanted to say that. Mm -hmm. It's important that we, we just not use sociocracy as manual of sociocracy uh, teach. We, we transform some things into the growth. Like, for example, one role was the leader, but we didn't like his name, we put coordinator. So is sociocracy adapted to the growth? And this can change. And we have a group on organizational circle that we talk about. I think we're good, John. Yeah, yeah we're it's good. Enough, yeah, right? we're good. OK. Thank you so much. And uh, now the objections. And uh, I would like to ask uh, my co-host, uh, Marco, to clarify what an objection is. And then you will have plenty of time to put objections into the Mentimeter. We will use the lunch break. The organizers will use the lunch break to actually try and, and, and have an overview of the objections that you're, you're putting in. But for that, to make a sense of what an objection is, uh, uh, Marco will let us know. Yes, um, there we go. Thank you. Uh, so indeed, after I explain for a couple of seconds, we will write the objections on the Mentimeter once again. But indeed, uh, so like right now we're using this concept of objection, which in a way is like a bit of a cycle because we're applying sociocracy and objection is part of that. But in order for one of your comment or concern to be considered an objection, you need to, first of all, identify how the proposal contradicts the mission, values, or aims of the International Degrowth Network or one of its circles and can affect negatively um, one of circle or role holder. So indeed, you need to tie your comment to like the principle and values, basically. Then uh, you need to contain enough information and a reason why the proposal would cause harm to the movement. So this allows other members and other circle members to understand the basis for the objection so that then it can get clear on how to take collective responsibilities for reaching uh, solutions together. Then it needs to be specifically related to the proposal and not to a problem that existed prior to the proposal. And so the objection in a way should explain why the proposal would worsen the situation that you're referring to. It should not be based on concern of another rural circle that does not wish to be represented by the objector. 
and it should not be based on information unfolded at the time of the objection. And finally, it should not be coming from your personal preference. So I will put this also in the chat and maybe we can find a way to also like put it in a slide. I'm not sure if JP can look into that if we didn't uh, do that earlier. But basically, so there is a difference between comment and concern and objection. So comment and concern can really come from your own personal preference when an objection at the core is something that if a proposal would be accepted, would cause irreparable harm to the movement. So sociocracy is really based on having an experimentation mindset and also trusting the collective and trusting the wisdom of the group basically to bring something forward. And this also means that having an experimentation mindset can maybe say, ha, you know what, let's try it out. And maybe we revisit afterwards, you know? So it's always about also doing something and revisiting, revisiting it afterwards, basically. Remembering also that consent can always be revoked. So if you give your consent now, you can always come back and say, hey, I've, you know, like I thought about it and whatnot, you know, which means that, yeah, that's a principle of also sociocracy. Okay, so I think I explained it a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any anything else that other people would like to add. I'm looking at the other co-hosts or like someone someone else. Maybe just uh, something. Uh, 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 write an objection if you have one. No, you are not obliged to write something just now because uh, no. Uh, so it's, if you have reason, if you have a clear objection, write it or not, you can pass. No, as in the round of sociocracy. Yeah. It, and then should we like are people allowed to write comments? Because indeed, like maybe it's good to make a distinction between comments and objection. So if people prefer to write a comment, it's also possible to already start writing that, but it's not an objection. How is that? Or is, are we focusing on objection, objection? JP, we can also do comments uh, if people want that. Comments and a separate one. Uh, a separate one? No, no. just put a comment in a bold, uh, some comment. Uh, yeah, indeed. If you have a suggestion or a feedback, you can write it as a comment. And in this way, it's not something but something that can be integrated. And as before, you can do the thumbs up to like one of the other objections that you can hear. JP, did you check if that's something that it's working? I did anyone see an option to like uh the no, then it's not working. Never mind. <laughs> it's not so indeed, just like write. Uh, and your own objection and comment. Yeah. All righty. So I think we're going to have about 10 minutes to write this, and then we're going to move into a break. Actually, Ooh. we have 15 oh, until 11.35. Is that correct? There's, is that a clarification question? OK, so here's a clarification question from uh, the mic. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the mic. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, very quickly. I'm not sure I, I completely understood where, uh, if there is space now or when for amendments uh, or specific modifications to the proposal. Okay, if it's a if it's a suggestion, I think uh, I think it's easiest if you say uh, if you tag your in Mentimeter, you tag it like suggestion colon and you have your suggestion or objection colon and then you put your objection so that we can we can come back to the suggestions uh, and, and and work with it or the circles can work with it and uh and and danny um all suggestions and and amendments etc are totally valid and all of that can come when we split up into the working group circles and the continental circles uh and that any anything is totally valid this is just to help us know if there are if people are currently objecting to specific parts of the proposal. Uh, so, so for example, someone is objecting to the general circle uh, uh, dealing with funding, um, right? So you kind of see the difference. Does that answer your question, Danny? But you can still send suggestions. Yeah. Okay. Now, focusing, you know, if you have a sort of proposal of new type of funding, 
you, you object and you say, uh, I am contrary to this type of funding because this, 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 this. If you have time, you can say also the proposal. I propose this, 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 but it's important to focus the objection. We will have time in the afternoon to discuss this objection, but this uh, Mintimeter help us to group because we will do like 10 groups and uh, based on the objection that you put. In each group, there will be discussion on the objection here, but maybe other objection of people. And with, with there will be a space for create new proposal that integrate this objection. So that will be the space. And then we will be a sort of survey of the proposal of Nodien, of new proposal in the afternoon. But now we map the objection. So try to uh, write very well your, your objection. And if you have a suggestion, you can put it also there, but it will be discussed after. And people will object, will be invited to, to stay in the group that we discuss this objection. And maybe just like uh, the last comment that I have is that as I already was mentioned, this is a beginning, you know, like, sociocracy and this proposal is an organism that keeps evolving you know like based on the people that join the circle and have new ideas notice that there is tension that something is not working bam you know like you see it you propose something and you implement something else so it's just a beginning yeah are we going to get more questions that we can answer or is this the, the one question that we should use to all with all our questions uh, you get three objections uh, that you can write, and then when the breakout circles, you can write. You can do as many suggestions as you want. Yeah. So this one is for this structure of the function. For anything on the proposal that on the you proposal. also on principle, yeah. you can say it on like the principle because of this, this, this. Yeah. That yeah. just allows one Again, a question online. If you want, you can already include a suggestion. A proposal in your comment, but right now you it's want, important. You can allow one objection, but you can name one, two, three in the same space uh, if you have three objections. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Menti is shit. Uh, if you have a neighbor who is not sending an objection, and, and yeah. you have, and you can also write them on paper. <laughs> Naomi has some. No empathy. For now, we're on break until. Yeah, so, um... Let's go. Let's okay, try so... to write your objection, do our best. But they can go if they want. Yeah. Okay, so the idea is you can write your objections during the break as well, and um, even a little bit later, but give us time to organize the, the afternoon session around these objections. So please don't write it like at the end of the lunch break because then uh, uh, we'll have a problem. Um, and um, and now we say goodbye to uh, um, to the online people because we're going to uh, split up and only meet um, um, after the after lunch uh, because now we have a break for twenty minutes and then we come back and then we go for lunch and then we come back and discuss the objections in smaller groups. So that's uh, that's the program uh, for now. So bye to everyone. Uh, well, here's the. Uh, bye to you and um, uh, and see you later. Right, and we're on a break until eleven forty-five. Am I correct, Marco? Oh, Marco yes. already went on the break. <laughs> no, I'm okay, but indeed, like this break is also about writing the objection. So exactly, and then take a break. Indeed, so combine the two, but do take a break. Important. Get something to drink. Right, Jim. This on.
Marco? So this is Fred. A yeah. Just wanted to see how you folks were doing and if there's oh, anything there I can funny. do uh, better. No, I think it's going to be perfect. Oh, I don't, cool. uh, I don't hear you. Don't hear me? I, for some reason, I don't hear you. What about now? No. What happened? Uh -huh. Weird. Marco, can you, so can someone else try talking? Hey, JP, so, can you hear me? No, so I people, can't. What's happening? Oh, I changed nothing. I didn't do anything. Do you just turn off your speaker? Okay. Uh, this needs to be resolved right now. I need to fix this. Sorry, folks. Uh, Is everything all right with the questions? Do you need help with the okay. grouping? Yeah, it's okay. Do you have a lot? No, not too many. No. Um, I still, I still can't hear y'all. I don't know what's happening. Um, I mean, it's on. No, I didn't touch anything. Thank you. Uh, Tom, I'm not sure what I've done, but I, if I can't, we can't hear them anymore. Maybe it's the sound from here. Display point, select the speaker. It's this one. Can you, can you try saying something now? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, oh, what the heck? You can, do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. There's something. Well, yeah, that's because it's tuned here. It's connected here, so it's, it's not going to do So we can't do anything about it. No, I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's a one touch one button when you are not here. I don't know. Don't need the, just, need to oh, it's because the projector is off. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, but this is plugged into the. Oops. Sorry. I think it's too loud right now. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so you will have the projector switched off, right? Yeah. Right now. For the social credit point. Anyway, you know what? I never do. All right, people in the online space, start uh, getting closer to your laptop again. Okay, we hear you folks now. Someone's playing music. Good. Yes, yeah. sorry. Yeah. But JP, we're doing parallel session, no? So there is no need to be connected and for us to hear you and for you to hear us. Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to ask if everything's going okay, if I can do anything differently or better. It's okay? I want to read them, no. I think to me everything's going perfect. Sarah and Federica? Great. Thumbs up. Yeah. Um, then we'll mute you and potentially even turn off your screen. We'll see about that. All right, people in the online world, start approaching your laptop again. Oh, there's uh, a few people left. Left, I see. It's okay. But if you're back, please. Turn on your laptop so that we know your camera, sorry, so that we know you're back. Wait another couple of seconds. Indeed, if you're not comfortable turning on your laptop or your camera, that's totally fine. And then indeed, you can just react that you're back.
Thumbs up. Okay, maybe we can slowly start and hopefully people are gonna come back. All right, I see some thumbs up, that's nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do now- To you, uh, kind of, uh, uh, and um, so the first one is, is going to be uh, Javier regarding, sorry, uh, regarding um, uh, name and, and messages. And um, I invite you to to give us a short feedback. Um, I'm about to share the slides. They're going to be there. And now you can start voting on Menti. Please do not vote until the explanation has been given. OK, so we had three questions, three proposals to, to review. I don't know which order you put them in, JP. Can I just go however I want? Um, uh, let me put it on the screen. One second. I can always tell you that, unsurprisingly, we haven't solved the 45 minutes uh, debate that we had for 20 years about the name of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> we did come up with some stuff, but maybe we could. Nope, that's not it. Well, I can start for um, well, I've, I've never seen this, we didn't know. Ah, anyway. So there was one of the proposals to change the name of the IDN International Degrowth Network to Degrowth World, and apparently also Degrowth International, which wasn't aware. Um, what came up, we had very little time to discuss about this because the discussion on degrowth itself took more of the time, but overall people were rather feeling cold about switching the name from the IDN to Degrowth World. There had been an objection to Degrowth World in that it's a very a kind of globalist framing, which might be a bit imperialistic, but we can uh, superimpose the concept of degrowth onto the rest of the world, which hasn't asked for this too much. Um, I assume you can now uh, indicate your own temperature on the Mentimeter. Again, we discussed very little about this, and there was very little information about this in the objection because the person who made the objection could not attend. He's there online and not in person. So I don't know so much more about why there's disagreement on the IDN. All I know is that there was a counter proposal for the World World, and all I know is that we had not so much enthusiasm in our breakup room and uh, a concern about it being very list. I yeah. agree, but it's on the Mentimeter. But I can, while you do the vote, I can, uh, I can continue. It's not the survey, the pool, not the vote. On the pool, the survey for temperature. Meanwhile, I can uh, put it. Ah, yeah, another quick point was someone suggested to uh, yeah get the questions and clarifications that were made during the assembly on the FAQ of uh, the assembly of the IDN, which I've already consented to, because it's a good idea. And then, yeah, on the, the debate on degrowth as a uh, name, which might be, we should change. Uh, it was quite a long discussion that brought many points and some points of consensus where to encourage attaching a positive subtitle or slogan uh, to the name of degrowth, as some other groups have been doing, like Tikrashita Felice, sorry for my Italian. Or good uh, life for all, for, yeah, for well being for all, good life for all, um, or positive images anyway. So a proposal that we've that we've seemed to agree was to be very enthusiastic about the communication circle, and then I would like to jump on this to invite everybody to join also if you can this uh, this discussion we're going to have later in communication circle because this debate is part of our image. And that's where the things are going to happen that we can determine the image that we want to, to show. Uh, anyway, the debate, yeah, we also mentioned that the connotation of degrowth for the name as language dependent came out that the IDN should not um, prescribe groups, be them global groups or international groups, to have to use degrowth in the names. Obviously, has it always been the case? Um, we did find the Narrative circle, very useful if people want to join, join this one as well. A circle dedicated to thinking about the narratives that 
different vehicles and, uh, and shares. About yeah, the negative connotation, some arguments in favor of having negative connotation is that it's harder to co-opt for many people. Um, it invites, it induces a reaction, which invites to look for more information. On the other hand, we get all the time misinterpreted and uh, bad mouthed by some journalists or some much bigger people. Um, yeah, um, I think that's about it. Can everyone vote in Accessimenti properly? Because it's important that we, no, not vote. Can everyone participate in the polling? Oh. Sorry. Because those who can't, please. Um, it's maybe people that have some problems to. Yeah. yeah, if you have a problem, then come to the side and we'll give you another device in which you can vote. And it's it's really important. Sorry, participate in the poll. I'm, oh, whatever. But yeah, just come to the side and we'll have you. Uh, I think the facts are not working. Is it? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't have it because I was uh, new to my. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm done anyway. The debate on the growth is not finished. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like the the range of opinions of the group. Like I, I just heard a little bit of conversation about you know whether the word being growth should be included, but the all of the options have the word growth in them. I mean, it was a more con. Uh, there was more consent to bring up this proposal, but again, the debate on whether to use the degrowth name is not settled. Uh, so there is some desire to bring this debate again into the communication circle or another circle which took the definition of. Uh, ju just to clarify for the people that uh, are online that didn't hear, there was a, a command that uh, the, the survey doesn't take care of the complexity of the comments uh, uh, that were made. Uh, uh, what uh, is, is, not, uh, is not a vote. You know? We are colonized a bit in the mind. No? Uh, it's, it's just a survey uh, on every uh, of each groups, even if there is a 5% of not fully agreement, a group, uh, if you will help us, we we'll work on fostering the debate and promoting to the new assembly another proposal so uh, the all the complexity can be bring in, in further discussion this is just a, a tool that simplify the reality but can give us you no know, the idea on where we have to work a lot because it is a zero and 20 we have to work a lot where we are more near to the to the goal yes but anybody who wants to work on a specific topic can can in the circles and can can join and 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 organize uh, uh, debate and dialogue around it. And please give the notes of the Mentimeter. If you are interested to join uh, the group, uh, just at the end of the note, you put your name and your email. You will be contacted. Okay. So next one will be Lorenz uh, on principles. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so I will try to. Okay, 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 great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, so uh, I will try now to summarize also the discussions uh, we've had. If some people who were there from the audience feel differently about something I say, please, please uh, raise your hand and uh, say so. Um, so the first uh, discussion we had was on adding a new principle. Um, called anti-fascism, um, and the proposal which uh, we arrived at after quite some discussions um, was that we uh, want to create a working group which in turn creates specific wording for a new principle named anti-fascism that includes, uh, that, or that takes into account um, the following key points of defense of radical democracy, the role of borders and support for migrant rights, and then there was a contested point, which we leave to the working group to be worked out, which is um, that we oppose all authoritarian responses to ecological collapse, such as including depopulation, so the population issue, um, and also specifically mentions that we exclude right-wing growth critical groups from our movement. This is the proposal to create this working group. Um, yeah, that was uh, basically all on that point, because we didn't have enough time to come up with a specific wording for a new principle on anti-fascism, because there was a lot of discussion about different aspects of fascism and anti-fascism. So we thought it's 
better to leave it to a further working group where people can uh, contribute to that and propose it to, uh, to another assembly. Um, should I go on to the next point? Or? Okay, so the second point um, um, is basically on, on anti-oppression and um, included points on anti-capitalism and anti-racism in, within the principles. And um, the proposal we, we arrived at is first to delay the discussion um, on whether we want to explicitly position um, ourselves in the in the principles as anti-capitalists to delay that uh, discussion. Um, also, would be to a to working group, um, but that we reformulate uh, the principle two, um, which currently which currently reads anti-patriarchy and anti-colonialism, that we um, reformulate that to read anti-oppression and add to the text that we are against every system of oppression, including the ones currently mentioned, and adding racism, classism, and anti-Semitism um, to list, explicitly list those systems of oppression. And as I said, delay the, the discussion of anti-capitalism. So that was the, the proposal. And uh, in the online working group, they added a suggestion to call it anti-heteropatriarchal as a principle. So I added both on, on here. Um, yeah, should I? Yes, um, so the comment was for the online people that it's not clear what is the precise uh, formulation that is uh, proposed. That is, this is true. Um, should I uh, include the, the comments into a new formulation of the principle or, because I mean, the, the changes is, 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 um, is relatively clear um, or how do we wanna handle this? Because you're correct, like it's not a it's not a full sentence of a new principle. Uh, I I just want to remind everybody, due to time, thank God that that they came up and started speaking that wasn't planned because there was barely any time for me to add all this stuff to the mentee. It really is the most briefest of summary of the conversation. Like we're hoping for the facilitators to explain what happened. Very few of their proposals get put on the mentee. It's just a vibe check. It's just for us to okay, this is what the sentiment is. This is what we need to work moving forward. So if you have a preference for one of these two, note down your preference. If you feel the energy and motivation to work on this, there is the space to do that eventually, right? And and uh, it's not like we're deciding anything right now. We're just being, okay, the majority of folks feel this way. The majority of folks feel that way. This is what's gonna help us move forward eventually. So just excuse the fact that the proposals don't carry the entire weight of, you know, if maybe you weren't into putting anti-classism Okay, sorry, I couldn't have that specific mind, you know, point in here, and I do apologize that the tech didn't work out for us as well as it could have. Uh, but just it's just for a general sentiment on how you feel about it, and of course, the facilitator is providing the context of how that came about. Yeah, and I'm speaking loud for the computer, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to add in it that this is also a learning process for all the organizers, and we are kind of revolutionary. This is great that this is happening in habit form and. We're trying out new tools to like make it more democratic and more effective. So just yeah, it's a learning experience as well. We'll be brief on it. That was all from Vincent. Thank you so much, Lorenz. And now it's Marta um, on sociocracy and structure. Um, yes, I'm uh, talking for the group Sociocracy and Structure with, that I facilitated with Francois. So we mostly dealt with um, uh, clarification questions and suggestions in our group. There was not a clear objection that we have to discuss about. So in brief, uh, we discussed about, for example, there were questions about consent for example, uh, how sociocracy work if we find later that uh, we agreed on something and we don't like it anymore, we want to change. So sociocracy cover this, we can do another proposal and change the way things are. So this is included in the, in the structure, so nothing is 
uh, fixed forever and it can be changed. Even the principle, this was another question we talked about, can be changed if you like, like we were discussing today. And, um, we were also discussing about uh, if uh, uh, some um, objections uh, that raise in theory inside the circle are uh, subjective and not really objectives uh, and so there is maybe a sort of conflicts inside the circle how does it work so in the proposal we were also trying to foreseeing a um, conflict resolution process or procedure uh, that is made of several steps uh, that are also this can be improved but this is what we try to propose and uh, then of course there were uh, other suggestions that uh, have to do with the structure and some have to do with the uh, more with the aim of the network we are creating together so there there is something that can be solved with structure but also something that is about the what we want to do as a movement uh, a network together and the one in particular that is uh, interesting, so we are doing a, a temperature check about, is uh, about, for example, if, uh, because the structure and the sociocratic process uh, is mostly dealing with uh, um, equality, right? what about uh, uh, equity? For example, if the global south is not really, um, is less earth like, for example, Europe, etc. How can we go? Uh, the question was, uh, uh, how can we go through this with the structure, and also how can we go to this with, uh, of course, the work we can do together? So just uh, because we were the group, uh, the group, uh, sorry, on uh, structure, the suggestion for the future is to work on uh, taking care of this uh, into the structure, uh, whatever possible. So this is the um, check uh, temperature check we do. Thanks. Thank you so much. We give you some time to deal with the mentee. And the next one is going to be Martin uh, on principle. Hello. Um, so we had four uh, kind of proposals to address. Um, the first was to delete principle three, communal effort and participation, because it overlaps with principle four, participatory decision making. Uh, then we looked at whether we should delete principle nine, self care, because it overlaps with principle seven, care, cooperation, and nonviolence. Uh, and essentially, what we came up with after some rounds of deliberation is uh, a suggestion that would address both these concerns. Basically, the idea is to mandate a working group to rewrite principles three and four and seven and nine, because those are those that overlap, uh, taking into consideration the concerns that we had and we typed out in our notes, uh, and which includes further addressing what communal effort means exactly, um, how it is different from participatory decision-making, uh, switching around the order of three and four, uh, clarifying some terms and prioritizing terms that are already in the degrowth movement. Some these are just some of the key elements that uh, the working group would have to address, but there are more elements that are in the notes. And the idea is just to create a working group to really clarify those um, sort of overlapping uh, principles. Uh, if we could check, there's the Mentimeter. Uh, please do voice um, in the survey what your opinions are on this. Uh, basically, whether we should maintain them as it is or whether we should think about um, think about them according to what I just suggested. Um, I'll give you a bit of time to finalize this and then I'll briefly explain uh, the next two points that we addressed. So there were two other concerns that were raised. Um, the first was a comment on specifying which degrowth ecologism uh, the group is pursuing. So like us, we are pursuing, right? And, and at the end, we, after going through the principles and thoroughly, we decided that 
uh, we we were okay with them. So we don't we don't have any point on that. Uh, so um, just to be transparent, so that you know where this come and go. Now you know it went into that we just it and we're okay with it. And then there's another point that we did think that we, we should act upon and we're going to propose something about here uh, is the suggestion to the elite anti-speciesist uh, and focus on considering the needs of all beings in the decision-making process. Anti-speciesist is a specific term that we use for principle eight um, on inclusiveness. It's at the very end of the principle. I'm uh, sorry, I have to read it. And it's at the very end, and well, we had some discussions because that term might be misinterpreted or some people might not agree, and it might not be as inclusive as, um, as that principle entails. In any case, uh, we, were, we were debating on what to use, and at the end, uh, since we couldn't come with an agreement on exactly what term was best in any case, we thought once again it was best to create uh, or we proposed as an idea to create a working group to choose between four proposals that we've had uh, regarding that term anti-speciesist in principle eight. First is to delete anti-speciesist and just keep the rest of the sentence, which talks about including human and non-human life uh, or something like that. I don't remember. Um, and the other, the other uh, proposal is to use non-anthropocentric instead. Another one is to use egocentric instead, and yet another is to add meaning after anti-speciesist to really specify what we mean by that. In any case, that's the that's the general term. I invite anybody from my uh, circles to 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 add any point if you think that there's something else that urgently needs to be added or that is unclear. Um, otherwise, I do invite you to um, respond to the survey. Thank you so much. And now um, uh, I'd like to ask Anne, um, she's online, to uh, to tell us about the tech issues. Hi, Anne. Hi. Yeah, okay. So we had two um, proposals. The first one has to do with the inclusion of a glass frog in the, um, in the proposal. So that I'm going to read it. Um, the general circle, so the proposal is the general circle will promise to add language to clarify the glass five frog diagram um, and to show that it is not a Venn diagram and that members of the inner circles are not members of the general circle. Um, it will monitor whether the glass frog diagram um, has created confusion and review this in six months. Um, I don't have anything to add about that, I don't think. Just that there was confusion on the. Anne, was there another point? Yeah. Um, yes, there's, there's, yeah, if we're going to the next. Next proposal, you mean? Yeah. yeah cool. Okay. Okay. So the next proposal has to do with um, an online platform, communication platform. So the proposal is the organizing circle or one of its sub circles will talk to members of the degrowth collective to determine whether using the existing Discord server uh, for the IDN. This conversation will discuss the creation of channels, categories, Discord roles, shared administration, shared ownership to serve the needs of the new organization. The organizing circle will also talk to other groups such as the Chaos Computer Club to discuss secure infrastructure. Can you can you give us some more context on the Degrowth Collective for those that okay. don't know? Okay, so the Degrowth Collective is an online uh, group that, you, that currently does use Discord. Anybody can join it. Um, so it's just a, a platform. To, I mean, Discord is just a platform for people to have conversations. So this would be like the official uh, online platform of the of the IDN. But but it, the proposal is just to set up a conversation. So there's no decision that this is not about deciding whether, um, you know, the Discord server would be used. Uh, Discord, D the Discord server, the Degrowth Collective, sir, I believe, Vlad, correct me, but I believe it has about 250 members currently on it, m many of which are here.
Right. Thanks, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Um, anything else you would like to add? Thank you so much. Um, and now um, the word is Marcos. Yes, indeed. Thanks. And so we also had a little discussion on principles. I think the other two were a little bit more directed as like probably people that commented it were like in person and like had a specific comment uh, while we went a little bit more general. And we in particular discussed three things. And the first one is about we also said that we would create a working group because we didn't have enough time to like figure it out, but to further work on principle and values in general, and to make sure that especially the following words and things are more present added throughout all the principle or as a standalone principle. So something about radical solidarity, anti-classism, where poverty should be explicitly mentioned, understanding about privilege, intentionally mitigating for your own privileges, social justice, environmental justice. So if I like in general, like something around class, class awareness, solidarity, poverty, and all of these topics was a bit missing from the uh, principle and values. So our proposal was to establish a working group to work on it further. And there is already a couple of people that are interested in joining that one. Um, sorry, Marco, uh, I, I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> uh, can we just get like a show of hands? Uh, can we get like a show of hands if we agree or disagree with what Marco said? It's okay if you don't want to do it. Oh, I wish you had the audience view. But yeah. <laughs> Great, thanks Wait, everybody. Look like 100%, no? <laughs> <laughs> all right so that was the first comment and the second one i think we also it was already connected to the other one but in general to have more clarity over like what it means to be anti-oppressive anti-patriarchal anti-racist like to have a bit more clarity of like practices and behaviors that we're trying to do to achieve that basically instead of like leaving it very theoretical how are we actually doing it, basically? Show of hands. <laughs> Great. All right, Ian. And I think the third one, yeah, I, the third one was to merge principle four and three. So I think it was already covered um, by the other one. And to call it commoning and participation instead of collective or community and participation, not that I remember. But I think indeed that can be taken up by as a comment by the working group that is potentially gonna be established. I'm finished. Okay, thank you so much. And, um, and finally, funding. <laughs> the easiest topic of all. Uh, so uh, we will not vote. Uh, um, we will not vote on the main team vote. We will not uh, pull. We have to decolonize our machinery. It's difficult. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> This one, I, okay. So uh, basically, uh, there was a full consent on the proposal of finance on phase one. We concentrate ourselves to the phase one because uh, basically a group uh, will make a proposal for the new assembly. You no, know? and um, but uh, what emerged from the debate was some recommendation to this group. Uh, Especially, um, there were um, some recommendations about uh, uh, to uh, make a research and with the pro and the cons to build a formal structure that could easily uh, help us to get funding for this from the state, from uh, foundation, etc. So was a big point. 
uh, other than uh, the steps that uh, define how much from the support group and the, and the network uh, has to be shared of, of the budget, this group will have also to think about principles, principle about how to share money. One is uh, that is in the proposal about ethical, uh, you know, so we take money from who, but also generally, you no know, principle on uh, how to deal with money. Uh, this group would, would have also to think about fundraising. So and so, uh, try to find other opportunities rather than the foundation that now is um, financing has. And uh, we try to joke a bit uh, with the phase two, because uh, we say it's not possible to object uh, uh, to a proposal that is not done, no, but uh, trying, no. Uh, they were sort of objection, concern, no, not really objection. Uh, and it was about the principles that I told uh, before. Uh, the fact to, to, to shift from the situation now of the support group to, to, to another body, you know, to separate this task, you know, uh, it was an uh, underlining of this importance. And also um, about taking in mind participatory, participatory grant making and uh, co-budgeting, auditing and platform related to these issues. Uh, a group, a working group will be established. So uh, people that were there, or if you know people that knows about budget uh, fundraising, etc., please uh, uh, sign or get in touch with us. Thanks. Thank you so much, and uh, Michelle. Yeah, I will speak for Michelle. <laughs> Uh, so we share our, we were about sociocracy and facilitation. So we share our experiences. Some of us had very strong experiences with the sociocracy of facilitation and related to that, our concerns. So as we were saying this morning, there's the problem of accessibility and engagement. And we share the idea that maybe sociocracy is not the right tool for any context. So for example, for conflict resolution may not be the right tool. So, um, and of course that it's a tool that may uh, create a resistance if there are some specific power dynamics already there. And so to make it sure as proposals, we realized that it was very helpful today to see the, the role play. So we have this idea of maybe creating some video in different languages with a role play so people can see from outside how it works. And also to uh, have workshops or practical exercises in order that before finding ourselves in a sociocracy uh, assembly, we can actually have um, a better understanding of it and also creating maybe a working group for the facilitators and do some, uh, collaborate with some, uh, I don't know, sociocracy for all, sociocracy 3.0, so to make sure that the facilitators actually really know what they are doing. And yeah, I think it's, that was the most important thing as well. Yeah, I mean, and also one option is to uh, actually not just training people that are already inside the D-group movement, but try to collaborate with someone from outside. Uh, yeah, so we have some, a professional person uh, working with that. Thank you so much, everyone, and thank you for keeping the time. I think it's incredible that we're reaching like four o'clock and uh, and we're still uh, kind of keeping the time. So um, um, so that's amazing. And um, and JP, if that's the only tech problem we had for the day, I think I think we're okay. So. Uh, <laughs> And um, yes, as we said, these are all the things that we need to work on. And I think a lot of uh, ideas came up and uh, um, uh, and this is 
this is just for us to feel which way we should go. But the rest of the day is going to be about actually doing it. So, um, so how are we going to come up with the continental circles? Who's going to be there? Who's going to do the work? How is going to do the work? So it's, it's all about actually doing it. The continental circles and the working group circles. So for the next 30 minutes, you will have to find the energy to keep going until seven o'clock. And I know it's really difficult. I know it's really difficult. And um, to be honest, I'm not really um, like a, a person who can energize people. And uh, I know it's very difficult for the, the online sphere, but if there's somebody here in the group who can take us outside and do some kind of energizing thing, even yoga, then please, please raise your hand and say, I think I have an idea how to energize people. Yeah. If not, then we just stick to coffee. <laughs> and this is this is what the people this is what the people um, uh, online can also do. So um, uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you in thirty minutes. So that's half past four here, and then we'll tell you how the different continental circles will work, and whether they'll be online or hybrid or offline or whatever. Okay. And uh, Charles, Charles found some keys. If you have some green looking keys and you're missing them, Charles at the back has them. Yeah. Okay, so see you in half an hour. Okay, I have the tallies. Uh, and wait, I'm muting myself. Frederike, give me a wave when we can chat. Okay, I'll let you know when the folks leave. It was like this one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm. Anybody have any questions here online before we go on a break? Sara, did you leave your contact details? Sara already uh, bolted. Um, but I mean, I I can get get a hold of her if you need to. Uh, yeah, you know Sara. Oh yeah, we've talked kind of behind. Joe? I don't know her well though. All right. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. Vlad says he's going off for more coffee. He only got up at three a.m. How are you doing, Anne? Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Are the facilitators come doing this now? Like, are we talking now about splitting? Uh, oh, I think I think we need to. I think we I think we need to go into a breakout room. Okay. That then also JP can uh, join. Mm -hmm. Um, let me just make those. Okay, so I think we should just go in room one. Uh, I'm opening it now. So join room one, Anne and Marco, and the rest of you just stay on your break out here in the in the main room. So we are waving at JP, and he may not be seeing us. I think they're looking at the list. They are, yes. We're on a different screen. 
but I've mm. written I've hit, written him a message in chat. Mm. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so the, the it's also silly that you and I sit here if we should go on a break first because yeah. they're talking about something. And Anne is waiting in room one. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anne, you just hang in tight. We're trying to get JP to notice us. We'll come as soon as we can. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I always Good. do that too early. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, oh, we wait. can. Yep. OK, if you go to the registration sheet, you can see the tally of the people. Yeah, but. Can we can we take this discussion into a breakout room, please? Sure. Please. Uh, so no, so. Uh, I'll, I'll join. Yeah. Uh, take breakout room number one. Okay. Thank you. Woo! Someone's doing it. Okay. Oh, room one. Joining. Self organizing. No, if, I mean, if, no I mean, if they don't need to be here, oh, they need to leave. We need. And we need, we need quiet. Something outside. No. Yeah. There's an energizer so, outside. Yeah. There is an energizer outside. Sophia's doing it. So, um, and we really also appreciate if you actually do move outside. So if you're chatting, because we need to figure out some stuff. Yeah, that's pretty clear. <laughs> Are we in the room? I don't know. I can't see you, folks. Did I move to the wrong room? No, I don't think so. Join.
Oh. Oops. Sorry. Well, that's something we can do collectively. Yawn. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of release, actually. It's been the band that it's like when you're tired, it's like when you're relaxing. Mm, yep. It's a good sign. Mm -hmm. So, I guess Zagreb is filtering in again. Uh, there's uh -huh. someone in Why did okay. you vote for That's Sam since. Yeah. We haven't seen Sam before, I think. Hi, Sam. Uh, hi, hi. How's it going? Hi, sorry, and sorry, welcome. And thank what, you where? So sorry? I just said thank you. Okay. Where are you calling in from? Uh, I'm actually an hour from Zagreb. Uh, my, my wife is from Croatia and I wanted to come in person today, but there was storms and a weather advisory and because of some of the storms I was asked not to um, and just to stay home for now, but I'll be in Zagreb this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, have you, ha oh, do you know what, Sam, I'll just write you because I think we're starting momentarily. Uh, I think Zag Zagreb will be ready, so I'll just uh, send you a direct message in chat. And Mario and Swana, if you can hear this, but we're just not checking the chat, check the chat, please. Yes, uh, I'm back. I'm back. Thank you. Good. Yeah, we're just because like we're figuring out the, and there you go. Amazing. We're just figuring out the practicalities of like the breakouts and who is where, basically. So this is why it's important for us to actually know who is present online for this section. Aim. So indeed, maybe we can check in us with Colleen. Hello, Colleen. Welcome. Can you hear us? Yes, hello again. Hey. And welcome. So we're figuring out the practicalities for like the next part. I will need an information from you. Where are you calling from? Where are you from? Yeah, so I was I was on the call for a few hours earlier. Um, I I'm calling from Washington D.C. Yeah, from Washington. All right, that's good because in this way, like I mean, we are figuring out the hybrid component of the next session, and we have indeed two. Perfect. Let's leave it at that. Good. Thanks. Yeah, we can hear. Um. So you know how important it is to have the continental circles uh, um, starting working and um, uh, during the break we we checked um, who's online for which continent and uh, uh, who's here offline so now we finally have um, um, a setup uh, it's going to be north america and europe um, that will have an online component uh, North America is actually be facilitated uh, by Anne, who is online, but we're going to provide you a laptop in the other room, the, the, the next next door, um, so that you can you can all share uh, um, in the online sphere. So that's going to be North America in the red room, and Anne is going to facilitate it, uh, who's online. And then we're going to have uh, Europe in the blue room, which is this one, because we already have a hybrid uh, uh, setup uh, uh, working. And it's going to be Marco online facilitating and Noemi and Lorenz uh, uh, facilitating it here in person. So that's Europe. Um, Oceania is going to be in person, only in person. So there's nobody uh, uh, online. So it's going to be in person in brown room. Um, uh, and Asia is going to be facilitated by Kanika and Jean-Louis, and it's going to be fully in person as well. And that's going to be in the yellow room, which is that one. Um, the facilitator for Oceania? Did you mention is that you? Uh, yes, the facilitator for Oceania is Xavier, sorry. And... Um, and unfortunately for South America and Africa, we have nobody yet. 
Um, but we're hoping maybe in Ponte Vedra things will change. Um, so, uh, so these are the four groups. So we can split up and um, uh, and join the breakout rooms uh, uh, in the places where uh, uh, where it's going to go hybrid. Yes. So red North America there next door. Uh, blue Europe stay here. Uh, brown uh, for Oceania and yellow for Asia. If you forgot. There is a, a paper. Yes, there, there are guides um, outside. But I guess the reason why nobody's moving is that <laughs> most people are here have for to be back Europe. Here after. And you have to you have to finish. I'll obviously I'll I'll walk back, around. Back but uh, uh, the continental circles will finish at half past five and we will meet after a short break. At um, five forty, we'll meet again here and uh, and go into the working groups. But I'm not going to confuse you with the working groups at the moment. It's enough if you find your continental circle. Great. So, what's so we're going to rename online the breakouts. So room number one is going to be North no, no, America. No, 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 no. No, I shouldn't do anything. Uh, no, you shouldn't do anything because I've already done it. So okay. right now, people in Zagreb are milling around the place, trying to find whatever color room, magenta, I don't know, uh, and hooking up to a laptop and making sure that everybody can hear and blah, blah. So we need in the in the online sphere here, we are hovering above the waters, right? We need to just have a bit of patience with Zagreb um, because they will be joining us shortly uh we've made a couple of breakout rooms for you and i don't know if you want to join already and then we'll just send them after you yeah is that the best idea yeah okay and i think mario for instance i know that i heard that you wanted to be in a communications discussion but we're not gonna manage to have that one hybrid so we're kind of hoping uh, but, but I mean, oh, sorry, that's in the working groups. That's later. You have a contact. Okay. You're in Europe. Sorry. Thank Never you. Never mind what I said now. I'm just trying to confuse you. <laughs> okay, so I'll open the rooms. You decide whether you feel or whether you are more European or North American. Perfect. Thank you, Frederica. See a bit in a bit. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I'm European too, but I stay here to try and point people in the right direction. Okay, right, this is kind of an awkward setup because we have loads of people online and loads of people in presence. Could we, JP, see, like, the yeah. vision in, like, a grid so we can see everyone? Gallery? Wonderful. Right. Uh, Fred, is this the? Do we need to go in a breakout room, or are we staying here for? Oh your... yes, you do. You do need to go in a breakout room. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So, so right. there's the Eurocentric importance that we think we don't need a breakout room. Everybody's equal here, right? And peop online people have gone ahead, so you can just join them. Them is going to be the activism one, and that's going to be Jean Louis um, here in this room uh, facilitating it, and yes, Marco um, uh, online. And then um, in the in the red room, that's also going to be hybrid. Uh, that's next door, and that's going to be the organizational one. 
and uh, Noemi is going to uh, uh, facilitate that. And uh, we'll have research uh, in the yellow room, which is that one, uh, with Ulrich, Ox Oksana and uh, Marta, and that's going to be in person. So that's not a hybrid event. Uh, we're going to have events uh, in the orange room, orange is downstairs, uh, with Lorenz and Benson, that's uh, also offline, so that's an in-person one. And uh, we'll have, uh, in the white room, we have communications with uh, Kanika and Francois. So um, you pick whichever is closest to your heart, um, and also whichever you picked um, while registering. Um, so uh, um, so that's 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 going to be the hard part. We still you still need to bear with us for for around forty minutes to do this. But before we do that, we would like to have a group photo because we're a bit worried that people will start kind of leaving the venue. <laughs> um, so we would want to have we would want to have a, a, a group photo now. With the uh, with the online people in the background, so please um, please come here. There's only one thing. Like, Mike, the work, Mike, working group. Mike. For, the, for the working group, we would like to to add a working group on practice. You know, if, you, if you're okay. Sure. So it would be like hands-on practice. You know, with the group. On uh, so. It will be discussed uh, in the activist working group. It is activist and practitioner. It could be uh, one of the subgroup of the activist group. <laughs> because uh, uh, we. Uh, okay, so we managed to stick to whatever we agreed on up until six o'clock, which is, I think, fantastic. <laughs> um, and. Uh, <laughs> Yes, let them right. photo. Come here. Come on over. Come on over. I can also take I could also take a screenshot of uh, this uh, things here up here. And we will use a number of cameras, yeah. So whoever is willing to take a photo will go up there with with his or her camera and then use it okay i start it. <laughs> this is going to be a bit complex i think Am I say your dog? Yeah. You know, two, two pictures, one normal, one face. Now we do the normal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Come on. One, two, three, three. No, no, wait. Now, Sandra. Wait, wait. I think no. she would make it for Sandra. Yeah, I want somebody else to take it for her. So, one, one. Wait, let's her show her. <laughs> And if you if you all look if you all look in the computer camera, then we take and take a screenshot. Kanika, come on. I don't think they can hear me. 
So the international degrow network is ready to change the world. <laughs> Sandra, please come back at half past seven. seven Sandra, six. half past six. Ah, uh, Sam, I think it's it's a bit tricky at the moment. Yeah, it seems that it's a little bit tricky. Also, because in the we. Yeah, is that okay to join like the activist or the um, organization one? Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of them, I don't know, they seem to kind of bleed and blend together. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we thought about it. And when we made plans, you were not in the group yet. This is why we didn't plan for the communication. And then you joined right after we made the decision. I hope indeed it's chill and... Uh, yeah, and you can find your space in one of these two. Good. All right. Then, Federica, I guess we can join already the breakouts, no? You can indeed. They're coming right up. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Okay, so the laptop, which was one once organizational circle, is that you, Noemi? Yes, it's us. Um, okay. And do you, you do you what? Sorry? Are you in the breakout room right now? No, I'm not, but I can send you to the right one. Are you turning into activism? I just found Okay, I just found it. I'm joining it. Oh, okay. Well, off you go. So Sam, are you still here? Sam? Mm. Sorry, I, I just got d disconnected. Could, could you help me? <laughs> I couldn't find a definition for like or organizational specifically. Is that events or? So from what I understood, it's more about how we organize as a, a group or a network. Uh, okay. So anything to do with that. And I mean, in truth, I mean, okay. communication could actually also fall under there could also fall under activism. So it's like, uh, I actually- I, I, I know. Yeah. So I actually know that Mario also originally intended to join communication. 
So, I mean, what you could okay. do is you can jump into that. And then and, see. And then if it's not interesting, you can send him a direct message and say, hey, do you want to pop back out? And then I'll make another breakout for the two of you. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. You're I'll, very I'll go active but, now. but only, Sam? Sam? Yeah. Uh, just be mindful that I don't have a facilitator for that. So, I mean, it's, okay. it's like, so if, if we were to, you know, have ideas or something, maybe you should just come back and have it here and, and I'll try and find the documents and so on for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll join activism now. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, you do that. Hey, Chaim, are you there?
we have a different mic now. So there we go. Can you hear us well now? Um, yeah, I can. I'm just wondering where. So are you one of the breakout computers? Yes, so we just added uh, an extra computer to get sound. I see. Okay, and where do you need to go? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I realize now that I'm not in the, in the breakout room. Um, the breakout room for organizational, I can yeah. I, I can check it myself and uh, yeah, yeah from away. I can also send you, you're on your way.
Hvad er det? 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 Hvad er
Hi there, welcome back. So we apologize. We must remember to never have fun again to save the time table. We ended perfectly one second before you pulled us out. I don't know if it was on oh. purpose, coordinated, but it was exactly like, okay, good. Excellent. I'm glad. <laughs> right. So now we're supposed to go to uh, final feedback. So we're just waiting again for the plenary in Zagreb. Oof. All right, then you get another. Oh. Uh, we're just we're just getting people to uh, shuffle into the room. That sounds good. I'm sure we're nearly there. Soon I will be done with the troubles. 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 Soon I will be done with the trouble with the drums and soon I will be drums of the world with the trouble. So we can we cannot hear you, Sandra. You're still on mute. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just asking everyone to sit down because then you know in the personal sphere it's quite difficult to like gather people. Um yeah, online is so efficient for that. People are so well behaved online. Next next assembly we should only do online. <laughs> I ask everyone to sit. Fantastic. So thank you so much for being so active the whole day. Um, what we would like you to do now is that if you have anything from the uh, from the uh, continental circles or the working groups that you would want to share with us. Uh, here's an open space. You can do that. You can if you if you know, or oh, we're going to meet here, or we're going to meet there, or or we agreed on this, and we're inviting other people to join. Here's the space to do that. So if anybody has any kind of announcements that are coming from these circles or from the working group circles, um, then this is the time to share it. Anybody? Okay. 
Okay, I missed it. I don't know what happened, but anyway. Um, Can I ask to turn to the audience again? And with Sam, Sam here online as an announcement. Okay, great. Um, Sam. Feel free, yes, Sam. Yeah, hey guys, I just wanted to share generally, I would share this in the communication circle as well, that uh, I can support with uh, website development and generally implementation of open source tools, technology infrastructure, not only rolling that out, but also kind of documentation and helping people learn how to use it. So I just want to make that an open group to any of the groups who are here, involved representative, as well as ODN in general, that I'm really glad to support in that way. And feel free to get in touch if I can be of help. That's fantastic. Yay. Thank you so much, Sam. Any other announcements that you would want to make or invitations? If not, then we're just going to uh, uh, move on and we'll have our very last Mentimeter. Oh, sorry, Lorenz. Yeah, I just wanted to say it's really great that the uh, events working group um, started off, kicked off, um, was really nice. Um, just a short announcement, there were like um, five, six people. Um, so if you from your local organizations want to link up with the event working group, um, just you can approach me and give me your name and uh, we can put you in touch. It's, yeah, it's, it's a really nice energy flowing and would be great if more people would, would uh, join. Thank you. Um, anything else? Okay, so the very, very last Mentimeter of the day. Uh, and the question is, how are you feeling? What are you, why, what, what are you taking home? Okay, we know you feel tired, but what are you taking home from this day? So any feelings or recommendations or anything that you want to share with us? Maybe it can also be a bit more than one word also, no? Yes, well, but short <laughs> so that we can read. Yeah, it. exactly. Pam tap, there you go. Yeah. In the Mentimeter, yeah. Sorry. Okay, Zagreb is hot. Motivated, connected, these are lovely words. Hope, energy, youth, collective, connection, care. Many people, I'm not sure whether that's a good one or... <laughs> um, we can trust each other, sweat, yeah. <laughs> Questions, tiredness, understood. That's nice. Growth, growth is awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> if that's what you're taking away, then um, I think we got something wrong. Mass mobilization. Okay, there's a the growth sucks. So um, beer pumped up. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much for sharing it with us. And um, I give the final words to uh, uh, Jean-Louis and JP, um, just to round the day up. And then there will be a closing ritual by Marco, um, a short one. And let's hope that the last thoughts will be short as well. <laughs> no pressure. Thanks. Uh, I, have, I have to write, do not uh, forget. So, uh, here you will have a list. Uh, so, the proposal uh, is, uh, is ready. No? We have we good feedback. So, some groups will work about. Uh, some teams that uh, some little uh, in 
improvement or little objection, no? But basically, the movement, no? We can celebrate uh, the birth of the International Degree Network. And then... <laughs> here uh, you will find the 20 uh, groups that he, were today here with their representative and uh, so uh, I imagine if someone of you say oh no no guys I, I withdraw my association so at least uh, uh, these 20 groups will uh, will be uh, the first uh, uh, local circles uh, of the international degree network. Uh, but I uh, ask you to check a bit, uh, maybe because in the registration there was a lot of people. So if you are if you are a representative or you are getting in touch with some people that are, uh, you have time until uh, tonight to to insert your name here. And we could put this file in the, in the link tree. Sorry. It's already there. Um, why is important uh, tomorrow or tonight? We don't know when uh, our energy will uh, uh, permit us, uh, but we will um, send a press release when we document this process and we'll say like more than 20, more than 20 um, uh, <laughs> realities are part of the. Um, International Degree Network. So, okay. So now, uh, hello. Uh, now, um, next steps. So, just to to remind to um, to everybody, no, uh, working groups and continental circle that we send two delegates to the general circle. And so the groups and in the international circle will have to, to work to make these meetings happen before the end of November. Then the organizational group that will be created. Meanwhile, we care the transition. So basically, so when after the end of November, they will be uh, our representative and a coordinator for each working group and continental circle. We will call a first call for the meeting of the General Assembly. That will be probably in the first, uh, like half, middle of January. Uh, in this meeting, no, 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 I said so the first meeting of the general circle, online meeting of the general circle, look, uh, middle of January. Okay. Uh, in this place, uh, uh, our representative will meet and decide the place and the time of our physical meeting. Probably we will be done also together the organizational circle uh, where the general circle will start to work and will. Uh, so Socratic elect is uh, uh, to uh, coordinator and the spokesperson for the International Degree Network. No? And then uh, we will be here, like uh, you know, in uh, Pontevedra, I hope. And, and there, uh, so the working groups uh, on the objection, etc., will work. The organizational group will take care of this path. Uh, and so in the next assembly, we will have the, the time to, uh, to see these improved proposal, to accept them, to revise them. Uh, there will be the proposal on, uh, on finance. Uh, and uh, we think, but the general circle will, uh, will deal, and that we will try to organize the next assembly in order to consolidate our network, asking you, if, or cafe, different methods, you not know, to better consolidate our vision. Our vision is probably the goal, but mostly our mission, our objectives and strategies that will also helpful to organize how to put the funds that we have. So probably the next assembly will be 
uh, used for this task. Well, maybe in the future, we could more um, work on how to build alliances with the external world. Mm -hmm. uh, now uh, I close. So, uh, no, no, we have to wait. So <laughs> it's an important. Uh, so, uh, for me and for us, uh, as at the end, is a really important moment. Thank you really much. You have been really kind and you have reached the process uh, in a caring way. And so, thank you very much. Um, for me, uh, it's a bit, uh, as I said before, a big dream. And for us, I think it's a historical moment. Let's see what we, what we do. We could do really big things you know, to change the world. And uh, I don't know. It's um, be, be patient. Um, it's a lot of year that I'm struggling for for this path, and there's been very difficult. The map, three people tried to do it, it failed. We don't know how. A lot of people. My wife tell me that I'm crazy that I just lose time, you no, know, to to reach these things. Also, some people, friend of uh, Igro, super so. But we are here, and uh, you no, know, and that I think uh, the last uh, that sometimes we have to be a little crazy. Uh, to, to change the world and uh, and creative and uh, we can do it uh, we can do it and uh, but not uh, not alone uh, but together so now I will take some time so, um, I will speak you can clap and continue to speak but we have to uh, to thanks a lot of people uh, for for this uh... which data that's yeah, what I mean uh, but I forgot two important events. So uh, there will be a Thursday at uh, 7.30, a plenary where we give feedback to the participant of the conference of what we decided. And then um, there will be another meeting of no, no, Thursday night uh, after the first uh, half an hour will be brief. And then we will have one hour to continue the work of working group. And moreover, there will be also a new proposal of uh, potential working group about global south. Um, so it's an important task. Then we will have our special session. On Friday uh, from 4.30 to 6, we'll have a, a non-academic session. So depending on who's around, we'll be doing more of that networking and more of that building work together. So it's super, super, super important that everyone who volunteered to be the transition person responsible for the uh, working group circle and responsible for the um, continental circles. It's really important that or it, it would be desirable that they're there so as to yeah, be there to continue the conversation and get in touch with everyone. And uh, but let, let's thanks people now or after your speech. Now, now. OK, <laughs> so uh, thanks uh, to Tom uh, that really Help us a lot uh, to the local organizing team of Zagreb to Milan. Thank you very much for us to have you. Thank you for the ODN. In particular, I want to greet some people because uh, some people did a huge work. Uh, Latouche um, used this war metaphor, no? so the group is a bo slogan bond. No? And we had several bombs in our ODN. No, one is Noemi, our coordinator. One is JP. A huge one, as you can see here with the document. The I here is Marta, that is all the logistics. We have uh, Ann Sheridan that work uh, like at 5 p.m., work a lot on the proposal, really in a good world. And Francois, uh, uh, from the beginning, continue to believe it helps with socialcracy. Uh, he is one of the few people of another generation who is still here with us to fight. Uh, we can't forget 
the folks who have helped us do all of the online logistics, making sure that the people online feel just as part of the movement as the folks in here, Federica, Marco, Anne, and Sandra. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I will never run. Oh, he yeah. wasn't finished. He doesn't no, know. No. I was going to finish. Thank you very much. You did a, a really good job. You help us to going beyond our imaginaries and uh, so everybody volunteer for this event. No, uh, so thank you very much. Thank you, the Fondation Charlotte Pormaier that uh, helped a bit uh, in these years. And uh, but mostly thanks to you uh, to be here and to legitimate this process. Thank you very much. See you soon. Really? I, I stood up here, waited for you. You're going to leave me alone on this stage. Wow. Yay. Yeah. Uh, friends, uh, Jean said some of the stuff I was going to say, so I won't say repeat some of those. Uh, but really, we just want to thank absolutely everybody here for being a part of this from the beginning, uh, from months ago, sending feedback, attending the sessions, uh, uh, responding to the open calls, uh, and then syncing up this room collectively uh, um, for the for the entirety of the day. Uh, just to reemphasize, I think, I really think, and I, and I, I, I think it really just clicked for me that this, I, I really think that this is a historic moment for the future of the planet. And look, I'm not saying that we're gonna save things or whatever, that's very much white saviorism, uh, but I think we've done something amazing here. And I think we should all be very, very proud of what we've done uh, and bring that energy moving forward. And, and if we really, really want to show the rest of the world what the degrowth movement can bring to them, we really have to prioritize and emphasize, as I mentioned earlier, our allyships, right? We need the working class to make sure that we're comrades. We need indigenous and campesino movements to know that we're comrades. We need queer folks, we need feminists, we need black folks, people of color, to all know that we're here for them to fight for their struggles and that we're all united looking for the same goal and really, I think we can all say that we love all of all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sandra. Can I can I just say one thing? I I did witness what John Luis's wife says is craziness. So I think in the last couple of years we should. You know, Jean Louis has put a lot of effort into getting where we are. So um, he couldn't thank himself, but I think I can thank him. And um, and yes, the last, the final round. Um, I'm I'm giving the word to Marco. Uh, to have this um, farewell uh, uh, ritual. Thank you, thank you. It feels a bit strange to do it after such a really celebration that maybe that was already the closing ritual. But just like for a moment, I would like to encourage everyone to take a couple of, you know, like deep conscious breath. It has been like a long day. So just like take it all in for a moment in and out and just encouraging every single one of you to like connect to why you're here really to what keeps you going to you know like what you feel about the state of things and what motivates you to keep on going to show up here today so just take a moment to to connect to that and to feel it And yeah, maybe switching a moment to, to what are you grateful for for today? Maybe it was a smile, maybe it was part of a meeting, maybe it was a connection or an interaction. And let's try to nourish this sense of gratitude and sense of pride also of like being here all together as a, space of community that we can always go back to to really connect with each other and connect and recharge and yeah find the strength and the motivation to 
it was to keep on going and as it was beautiful to be in here all together. And now let's channel this gratitude and all the emotions that keep on going onto your hands. And let's see one last time, everyone jazz in their hand in the air and being here all together in this beautiful community. And yeah, with that, I guess all the online folks can unmute and say goodbye and also the people in person, you can all start saying goodbye and scream and sing whatever you want. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. 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 Bye. 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 For people here, reminding our peers uh, that are coming so we can continue conviviality. Enjoy. Ciao Marco, grazie mille. Ciao, prego, Marco, prego. Grazie, ciao. Ciao anche Federica. Bye you guys. Ciao. 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 Right, yeah. We can, should we send everyone in the waiting room? We can do that unless anybody has any kind of final questions or something, then we're, yep, Sam. Yeah, so I'm just uh, curious, what, was there a date decided for the general circle meeting where all of the coordinators for the different groups will go? Hmm. Not that I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, maybe so, maybe that's maybe that's the third that's why we have to do it before the 30th of november is because that's the day in which something is happening got it okay but yeah. so, so the two next things on the calendar generally there's Sorry. the thursday plenary and there's the friday networking session at like 4 30. yeah this is for the week indeed okay Okay, yeah. cool. All right, that's it. Hey, thank you guys so much. It was really wonderful. You were so welcoming. I was very appreciative for all my interactions with you guys online here. Um, and look forward to talking more. Great. Yay. Then we, did, we didn't do half bad then, Marco. <laughs> we didn't. Very great. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you made me feel special. And I'm sure you made everybody else feel <laughs> special who kind of came and, you know, was not there in person too. So that's, I think, nice. a really big testament to your work and everything you've put in. So th thank you so much. And you guys should be really proud of what you did. Thank you. <laughs> thank you a lot, Sam, and take care. Bye. So, bye. so I don't know if we're booting. No, sweet. Yeah, it was. Yeah, put everyone. JP, take care. We'll be in touch. Ciao, JP. Hey, friends, I'm not sure if you can hear me. I just okay. want to let the people know how thankful I am for both of you. I, I I cannot wait to person both biggest biggest time. Federica, I'll make my way to Denmark just for that. I promise. <laughs> okay, I'll hold you to that then. <laughs> we'll stay in touch. We'll have a feedback call soon. Yeah. It's gonna be a debrief, no? Yeah. yeah. Debrief with everybody, see where we can improve. But for now, let's enjoy it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Go Thank have you. beer. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, we like you too. All of you, <laughs> both of you. Sure, so we'll enjoy your night. Both. Yeah, and relax, JP. Shoot today. You have, uh, have you slept any hours at all? Three hours. Sorry? How many hours did you sleep? Three. Not too many. <laughs> so you're going to sleep.